Bobby Devo was my uh, idol when I grew up. I met Jean when I was 10 years old, Quebec City Pee Wee Tournament. I scored a hat trick that day and Jean was there. We took a picture together. He was putting a hat on my, on my head and he said, maybe one day we'll see you in the NHL. Born in Thurso, Quebec, Guy Lafleur played with an elegance and natural talent reminiscent of his idol. He wore Beliveau's number four and shattered junior scoring records with the Quebec Remparts. The Canadians held the first pick in the 1971 draft, and until draft day, there was some question as to whether they would select Lafleur or St. Catherine's standout Marcel Dion. From the Quebec Remparts, Guy Lafleur. When you're a kid, your dream is to eventually play in the NHL and to play with your team, Montreal Canadiens, because they were the best and because of the chance of winning the Stanley Cup. Nicknamed the Flower, Lafleur's start in Montreal was anything but easy. He didn't have a great rookie season. It was fine, but it was certainly not to the standards that, you know, was imagined of him. In the second year, pretty much the same. The third year, pretty much the same. The expectations were too high. He came as John Beliveau retired. They thought that Lafleur was coming in to replace Beliveau. You don't replace a guy like that. Uh, Andrew Richard, Dima Cournoyer, will tell me one day, stop listening to everybody, just play your style. You'll get your confidence back, and that's what I did. And the first time I see Guy Lafleur on the ice, I went back home and I said, wow, what a hockey player that guy is. So that was just a matter of time that Guy was going to be one of the best players in the NHL. After those three years, he became the number one player in the league by a country mile. In his fourth season, Lafleur netted 53 goals and 119 points, more than doubling his totals from the previous year. It was the first of six consecutive seasons with 50-plus goals and 100-plus points. During that time, Lafleur collected three straight scoring titles, three straight Lester B. Pearson awards, and two Hart trophies as MVP. He was the Rocket Richard of the 70s for Montreal fans. Everyone watched the way that this guy skated and scored goals, and he was who I really wanted to be. He was exciting. He had one visual key that could describe that speed, and that was his hair. Going up the right side 90 miles an hour, and that long hair going. There were very few players who would actually lift you out of your seat. But when Lafleur took the puck and his hair was flying behind him, people literally got out of their seats. The Canadians won four straight Stanley Cups from 1976 to 1979. Lafleur won the Conn Smythe in 1977 and paced playoff scoring for three consecutive seasons. He gets it into the bear back to Lafleur. Oh! He scored 518 goals with Montreal before retiring 19 games into the 1984-85 season, but made a comeback four years later with the New York Rangers. I told them, just invite me to the training camp. First scrimmage goes to the right, takes a shot, far end, scores. After a year in New York, he returned to Quebec to close out his career with the Nordiques. I was on the ice and I was home because every time I was on the ice, I was the happiest guy in the world, especially for wearing the Montreal Canadian uniform. Guy Lafleur's dream was to play for the Montreal Canadiens. He retired as the storied franchise's all-time leading scorer. His 1,246 points outrank a myriad of legends, including his childhood idol, Jean Beliveau. Welcome back to another live stream, uh, play by play with the hockey coach guru, Coach Frenchy for the Hockey Nation live show. Tonight, the Montreal Canadian uh, game number 79, uh, they host the Boston Bruins. Uh, and uh, yes, last Friday, uh, we lost the number 10, uh, Guy Lafleur, at 70 years old. Uh, uh, maybe the last one on my, uh, for my eyes. The last one French Canadian player have an impact for the Montreal Canadian uh, forever. Uh, after Maurice Richard, Jean Beliveau, I believe uh, Guy Lafleur was the one uh, really make a big impact for everybody in the, for the Montreal Canadian for years. And um, 
It's going to be missed. We will just want to tribune uh, Guy Lafleur. We did a little bit uh, earlier Friday night, uh, but tonight because the ceremony before the game at that moment is live at the Bell Center uh, to for Guy Lafleur. So we just want to share with you a little bit what um, my uh, you know we can maybe talk about Guy Lafleur before the game start at that moment, and um, if you have any story. Anything you want to mad, uh, you want to talk about him, I will would be great to sharing all together uh, because you have so much an impact all around the world, not only in Montreal or in Canada. We talk about North America. Everybody know whatever it was you are not born, you still remember and you know who is Guy Flower Lafleur. So um, yeah, after Mike Bussy two weeks ago, Guy Lafleur. It will be my last idol for the rest of my life. I will never have anybody else as a Gila Fleur. Do I like players? Yes. But idol, the one I was leave every single day, wearing my number 10 jersey with the name Lafleur. when I was split on the street, on the backyard, behind the, high, the school, outside, I was wearing the number 10, and um, I'm not the only one. So um, the Quebec, government Quebec, uh, declared today to have a national uh, funeral for Guy Lafleur. Just give you an impact uh, that who it was. Not many have an opportunity to be that, that kind of day. It's because he makes something special for many, many people. So we welcome everybody. We're going to talk about, of course, everything. We have a game behind this, game number three. We have only three to go. Um, <laughs> you know, because last night I was I was reviewing my the game last night here on the live stream, and I said, wow, coach was not great last night. And I, I was said to you, it, it's like, I think I, I hit the bottom of the barrel right now. I think it's like, is it over yet? Can we build this over? Because it's, it's very hard to watch. Whatever they, they play good yesterday. I, I, honestly, they, they play 58 minutes, Montreal. They dominate the game yesterday, but not good enough to win. So um, today, Wednesday, Friday, uh, let's move on for the next, next thing, right? But we have a few people here we want to talk about. Uh, uh, we have a, sorry, I have to go, but we'll be back, Michael, not a problem, forgot that I will win, and uh, Nat, welcome aboard, um, thank you so much to be a part of the show, hey coach, good evening, did you know if Washington went tonight, uh, to make the playoff decision in the East, um, um, oh, um, all right, King, thank you for sharing with me, I did not know, Dixon Automotive Group, uh, welcome aboard, thanks for join us tonight, uh, uh, Yamo, Ismo Lekanen Segi was amazing, very friendly when he met him after he played rookie year and abs and he asked him to do, uh, do he need, need help. Um, wow. Yep, that's what he was. <laughs> that's exactly what Guy Lafleur was. If someone asks him something, he will do it. That's what the heart of Guy Lafleur with really humble guy. Really, really humble guy. Uh, Isaac, uh, I'm in the house. Welcome aboard. Thanks for joining us. Uh, Monitor de Jeunesse and uh, Nat uh, share with us about that one over there. Jerry, 1977. Uh, uh, thanks also. He flew in the no many fly in heaven. I agree with you about that one over there. Uh, Jerry, thanks to be a part of the show tonight. Uh, John Grega, welcome aboard. Thanks to be a part of the show tonight, Mr. John Grega. Uh, Denis Rodrigue, uh, Guy, Guy, and Guy. Yes, I'm so right about that. Uh, I still, I still uh, have some, uh, uh, wow. Yep, we're never going to hear that about that one over there. We're going to have a surprise tonight. Coach uh, Michel Cloutier, welcome back. Alan Barnes, uh, welcome aboard. Willet Catherine, welcome aboard. Mr. Ron with Kings 20, uh, good evening. Um, uh, welcome aboard. Every uh, great to see you, uh, Mr. 27. That's the best thing I can call you. Welcome aboard, uh, 
Mr. Enoch Tap, uh, insider of the Hakanisha Life Show, welcome aboard. Thanks to be a part of the show. Uh, William American Studio, welcome aboard. Thanks to be with us tonight. Uh, thank you so much, Michael, to sharing with you about him. Uh, Alan Vinyako, directly from Kentucky, welcome aboard. Mr. Kilo, glad to see you, my friend. Thanks to be with us. We have Mr. Jose Duarte. Uh, thank you to sharing your um, this, uh, Mr. Yeah, uh, Jose. Uh, William about uh, IIP Gilafla. Mr. Yamo Vertanen again from Finland. Carlo CFM. Uh, thank you so much. You mentioned about this, Mr. Stefan Manberg, directly from Sweden, back with us tonight. Uh, I think we said hello to Mr. Alan Barnes from Facebook. And we have to go all the way down now and see what we have. Uh, Net will be back later. Uh, Ari, uh, welcome aboard. Thanks to be a part of the show, Ari. Thanks to be part. Uh, Mr. Rod uh, Jerry Jean, supporter of the Hockey Nation Live Show. Thanks to be with us tonight. Uh, Pasta and Ling home out for Boston tonight. Uh, thanks for letting us know. Uh, thank you so much. In our tab, the Demon Blanc will live, uh, will live forever in the Montreal organization and for a heart. Uh, Terry T, we really appreciate uh, you sharing with us tonight uh, about Gila Fly, the family, and the fans. Uh, Mr. Ralston Bington, a supporter of the Hockey Nation Live Show, a member of the Hockey Nation Live Show. Welcome aboard. Uh, number one fans of the Boston Blanc with John Grega. Uh, RJ, welcome back, Mr. RJ. Thanks to be a, a part of the show. Uh, tomorrow night, uh, one game at the Flyers and Chicago Blackhawks at 8 o'clock. Uh, yeah. Crazy. This is the last week of the NHL uh, schedule, regular, ske uh, regular uh, schedule, by the way. Mr. Adam, uh, welcome aboard, uh, RJ, by the way. Uh, Edmonton and Pittsburgh play well today. Yep, it's going to be really, really interesting this week about the prediction. Uh, good luck, because uh, he's going to have a lot of bad prediction, honestly, like I am right now. Today, I'm 1-3, uh, I believe. Uh, Mr. Sean B, welcome aboard. Thanks for being a part of the show. Mr. Sean B, another member of the Hockey Nation Live Show. Oh, Super Chat! Here we go! Super Chat, Sean B! Rivers! Super Chat! Thank you so much, Mr. Sean. Thanks to be a part of the show, and always great to see you, my friend. Very kind and nice of you to helping to support the Hockey Nation Live show. Uh, because Play Dallas, uh, King of Gamer, yes, deeply. Uh, today, very bad, me too, because I said Devils too. Yep, I agree with you about that one over there. I got the Caps and the Colorado winning tonight. Uh, Jake McAnui, welcome aboard. Thanks to be a part of the show. Vegas must win tonight, uh, absolutely, uh, Adam. Hey, I know tomorrow anymore about that one over there. Guy with play okay, and even uh, Mr. Ryan Stewart, uh, welcome aboard. Thanks to be a part of the show. Vegas play Dallas tomorrow. Um, I think it's Tuesday, Adam. Because Tuesday have a lot of good game. Washington, uh, Toronto, uh, well, Carolina versus... Um, New York Rangers, Vegas, Dallas. You have so much good game at them Tuesday night. We don't know which one. We have too many games to what follow. The good news is um, Montreal does not play, so we have a time to follow up everything. Glad I went with Detroit today. Congratulations, Ron. I did not. I did not go with Pittsburgh. I did not go with um, uh, Detroit, and um, I got screwed with Edmonton. Unbelievable. Uh, Mr. Yann Gianne, welcome aboard. Thanks to be a part of the show. Uh, Costa Viron, Viron, or Viron. 
podcast. Uh, welcome aboard. Thanks to be a part of the show. Uh, the, the show. Merci beaucoup d'être avec nous ce soir. Montreal forever. Yes, it is. Uh, mais uh, je me disais bien qu'il aurait mis le Montembeau. Oui, mon Yann, il est de retour le Montembeau between the pipe tonight. Uh, I guess should take down San Jose uh, tonight. Um, I agree with you about this run for sure. Uh, this week we have a Monday one game, 13 Tuesday, 5 Thursday, uh, 5 Wednesday, 9 Thursday, and 15 uh, Friday. Thank you, RG, for sharing this. Uh, this is the last of the last. Uh, what we're going to do next weekend, coach? I don't know. I know hockey next weekend. <laughs> but we'll see. Uh, how did the Oilers lost to Columbus? Uh, yep, that's what the Oilers are. That's enough between the pipe, but we'll see. Steve G, welcome back in the house. Uh, thanks to be a part of the, sh uh, the show. Casta, uh, say merci, monsieur. Il n'y a pas de problème, mon Casta. Tu peux m'appeler coach. Il n'y a pas de problème. Tu n'as pas besoin de m'appeler monsieur. Mais tu es très gentil. Uh, très poli en passant. Casta, Guy, Guy, Guy. Is Price the Net? Is Does Not Say on Sportnet? Uh, uh, no. Is uh, Montembeau tonight? Um, Uh, now watching RDS, great homage, so sad to young uh, Nat. Uh, yeah, I didn't have a chance watching this anymore. We don't get a chance, opportunity to watch this. Uh. It's live right now. They say Primo is up. Um, Yamo. Uh, salut, coach. Great to see you. Uh, what happening, Carrie Price is not with the team tonight, Yamo. That's what I heard today. So that's maybe that reason Primo is up. Uh, salut, Coach. Great to see you. Paul Philo, welcome back. Uh, we miss you, Paul. A show without Paul is not supposed to happen. <laughs> Paul, always a pleasure. Will be tough game tonight, Coach. Uh, oh, of course it is. Uh, we meet Alcy Brony. He plays the regular season game in LA. Last night, he wanted to take the summer to say we will come back when all the machines doesn't feel away. I uh, talk about uh, Dave uh, Brown for the Kings. Uh, you will make a stream for the lottery. Yes, Jan. Uh, end of the season, April 30 for NHL. Uh, the coach is going to be a beach next weekend. <laughs> Right now on TV, the show live in Montreal. If you are Spornet, RDS, wow. Unbelievable. That's a great homage happening right now at the Bell Center. You know, one thing Montreal Canadiens have always been great is how they, they do all kinds of presentation and celebration and memories. And they've always been one of the best to organize those kinds of situations. And tonight, Guy Lafleur. By a player. We'll never see again number 10. He will be in your heart forever. The number 10, Guy Lafleur. And uh, not yet, uh, King about Nashville. He is still here, Jan said. Good luck tonight. Go out. I love Sebastian Luz. Sean, thank you so much. Good luck for the leave again uh, tonight, Washington. 
Alex Zubik, uh, welcome aboard. The video on Mars, you get a friend, very nice. Alexandre Le Meilleur, it is. Jim Fox, night here up. He did it his way. Yep, sir, right, Costa. All around. Yeah, it is not. Wow. What a player. You have Sir White Steve. He was. You're right, David. You're right, Julius. Yep, sir, right, Costa. Thank you for sharing with us. People are now still screaming. Thank you, Kelly. Yeah, Russ. You're right, John.
people still give an ovation, um, an ovation. That's all right, look. Merci, Charles. Wow, everybody's screaming. Um, for me, King is the, the the gold winner game again. The Flowers won the first time they won the Stanley Cup. The second, really, the biggest one again. The Boston Bruins, honestly, that's the one. Agree, Steve. Shot. Thank you, Zef. Wow, the number 10 in the middle of the ice. Merci, Pierre. I hope so, Adam. I agree, King.
forever. D'accord avec toi, Yann. Every time we try to talk, the unanswered people are screaming. I agree with you, King. Thank you, God, um, Roger. Oh, that's nice, Danny. <laughs> One more time. D'accord avec toi, Nath. Pas facile. Wow. Au goût de ça, le National Anthem. Steve said the Panthers. Ben d'accord avec toi, Yann. Il y a plusieurs de ces joueurs-là, ils, ils ont grandi à l'avoir regardé. C'est vrai, Luc. Bien d'accord avec toi, Simon. Merci, Jake. Tu vois, t'aimes pas Absolument. We'll wait for the game start. We must see more. A 
On va voir si on va revenir avec un autre nom. Là. I hope so, Frank. En soi. Ouais, ça va mieux, mon Simon, là. I agree with you about that, Costa. It's an unbelievable. <laughs> yeah, me too, Pia. It's all right, Danny. Sometimes they can use, they shun the name and they come back with another name, so. Je suis certain, Nat. Euh, Zep, ouais. Uh, during the half time tonight, I will talk about the rules about why Montreal has not, are not the last position for the draft. Uh, I will explain to you and then um, during the half time, the rules, how do you, if two teams at the end, Uh, 31, 32, or at the bottom of NHL, uh, how do you set up the last one and the, the, the team prior to that one over there? I'm going to give you all the rules of NHL between the first, because at that moment, Montreal is not last, unfortunately. Euh, on est fier d'être Montréalais, qu'on beaucoup on aime notre peuple, je vais être fier de jamais. Ouais. Euh, non, c'est un pro net. Euh, just finished watching the game, the game is on out, one of the girls fucking love. Montréal does everything first class. Can I say matter at this in our top? Tonight is a special about honor story. Remember the sacrifice the prize they played with their heart for the club. If and Sir Francois. She not chant toujours avec ses trip. Uh, look. Uh. What? Je viens de voir ça, mon Yann. Here we go. The puck is dropped. Bon match, mes amis. And let's turn in the puck going in front in the territory of the Boston Bruins. Reset right now in the left corner. Uh, Riley bring the puck around the board. And intercept right now by the Boston Bruins. Bergeron, long stretch pass on the side. And a bit in front of Jeff Petrie. And Marchand thing he just left his edge. Uh, the turn around right now by the Boston Bruins. Bring the puck around be behind the goaltender. Montreal Canadian. The puck go all the way in the neutral zone. It's going to reset right away right there. Good hit right now by Jeff Petrie on Jake DeBrusque. The puck going on defensive zone. And you're going to reset for McEnvoy. McEnvoy passed the puck to the left side. Taylor Hall dropped the puck behind uh, Montembeau. Montembeau played the puck. Back the puck to the left side. Reset right now by the Montreal Canadian. Turn around by Pitlick. Pitlick passed the puck to Gallagher. Gallagher passed to Pitlick. Pitlick long stretch pass a little bit too far for Jake Evan. But we have a... Uh, Offside at the blue line, we'll go to reset at the neutral zone. 
Bon match, les amis. Pas go behind the net, swim and drop the puck to the right D, intercept un arc, and no Z, drive the puck in neutral zone, intercept un arc pour la Montreal Canadian, and uh, Pitley drive the puck behind the net of swim in, and we have another whistle at 18.45 to go. Welcome back, Mr. Uh, Jake Hines, so welcome aboard. Uh, prim price is not around uh, tonight. Uh, if I go to Montreal Canadian, go D to D. Back to Leg Legison is uh, the, uh, for the Montreal tonight. The puck dropped now to Josh Anderson. Uh, swimming, put the puck in the, uh, in the corner. Uh, we have under the whistle. We're we'll going to restart right away, right there. Lagasson, Lagasson is in the lineup for the Montreal Canadiens tonight. Uh, They went out by swimming. It was set by Charlie Coy. Charlie Coy bring the puck back. They regroup for the Boston Bruins. Bring the puck to the board. They're scanning now on the neutral zone. Gun the puck to Charlie Coy. Kick out the puck to the right side. Montembeau make a save. No rebound. We're going to start at the left, right side of the Montembeau. Um... Uh, price so good last night. Pascal Prego with Pascal. That was shot price. It was a save. Colorado is the, is the team this season. Colorado Costa. I agree with you about that one over there. Puck went out on the left side behind Montembeau. Ball out behind the net. Uh, Montreal tried to pick up. Intercept went out by the Boston Bruins. But a stop back shot by the Montreal. The puck going into a zone. Chasing went out. Turn around by um, Clifton. Clifton loses the puck. Recovery went out by uh, Dauphin. Dauphin drives the puck on the left side. A little bit too far from uh, Petlick. Intercept by the Boston Bruins. Uh, Come left try to get a puck. No, no chance. Now chase for in front of Montembeau. Boston will recover the puck. And the corner. Bring the puck behind the net. Uh, And now we have Romanev just hit someone. The puck turned to McEnboy. McEnboy passed the puck to the left side. Should the puck uh, miss the net? Rebound to the left side. Eric Olaf should the puck miss the net completely. The puck to another defenseman. So should the puck. And fun of the Montembeau. Sabah recovery the puck. Bring the puck around the board. And he's going to put uh, the puck outside the zone. On the neutral zone. Merci beaucoup, Mo uh, Nezak, uh, about that. The puck turned around by the Montreal Canadiens skating, changed the direction by uh, Mike Hoffman. Uh, Robert Mayotte, uh, welcome aboard. Thanks for being a part of the show. About that. Uh, it's one thing to do here, guys. All right? Just let him alone. That's the best thing to do. Uh, you have some people in, in this world where they are not good people. He's one of them. The key here is to let him alone. So do not respond. Ignore him. And that's the way he wants to be in his, his own life. Let him alone. That's the best thing to do. Um, you cannot change people. You have the good people in life. You have the bad people. He's a bad people. That's the only thing I would say to him for the rest of the night. Do what you want, Isaac, if you feel good. But do what you think is the best for yourself. Turn around now, Boston. Bring the back door. He missed in the belly. Oh, my. Boston Brown just make it. 
Le parc du rond par le montoir canadien en défense de saison. Le parc go behind the net. Shannon record pour une part de l'occasion. Trois de parc, un losing renal recovery par McEnvoy. Un shoot de parc over the head of the mountain boat. Reset renal par Brett Marchand. Marchand contre le parc, contre chain de direction. Prenez le parc de la side de McEnvoy. McEnvoy droit de parc contre le left side. Et now Bergeron tombe dans le parc via pour Marchand. Uh, Marchand right now try to get a puck in the corner. Change the direction. And this is going to get out of the zone and a little bit too far from Hoffman. And he's going to go. Now Boston re recover, uh, recover at the blue line. And no icing. Rest up on Montreal Canadian. Change the direction. Marchand recover the puck. But he got still the pipe by Edmondson. Edmondson set up right now. Pass to P3. And no, but P3 is uh, Shunneman, I believe. Shunneman. Uh, Jordan Harris, by the way. Jordan Harris lose the puck, recovered by Edmondson, drive the puck to the side, dumping run out by Pitlip, pick a little bit too far for Jake Evans, but dumping the puck behind the net, uh, try to recover by Clifton, and now he go the puck behind the net, go D to D, and he go to reset right away on the defensive zone by the Boston Bruins. Uh, pass the puck to the side to Clifton, bring the puck right out to Charlie Coy, Coy to Smith, Smith a little bit too far for Clifton, the puck all the way to the side. Reset by the Boston Bruins behind the net. Montoya intercepts the puck. P3 pass the puck right now to Emerson. Use the board. All the way back to far side. And now the puck with Anderson. Anderson's coming to right side swimming. Anderson passes the puck between skate. Turn around. Keep control of the puck. Allows the ram up. Control it all the way back. Back again to Ramanov. Ramanov for the net. Screen by um, Pesada. And saved by a swimming. The puck go behind the net. Chase in the corner. Boston Bruins try to get a puck outside the zone. Finally, Carlo did it. Intercept at the blue line, but we have a pass with the hands. We have to whistle at that moment, and that's what happening. Thank you so much, Mo. Very kind of you. Exactly about that. Um, the puck went out, go to the other side, uh, and the puck dropped on the defensive zone. Montreal and Montreal, Mark de Batry, Yann, pas de problème. For the West Time, you bust on really well there. The puck turned around by the Montreal, the Pays Chinois, it is verb. The puck turned around behind the net. Uh, Taylor all wrap up and Montebo make a save. Recovery went out by the Montreal Canadian. And they are coming down the front zone. Uh, don't put the puck all the way back behind swimming. Uh, the turn around right now by uh, Clifton. Uh, Clifton can't control the puck. He's coming to the neutral zone. Keep control. Clifton continue possibly the tripping for the Montreal Canadian. And that's what we get at that moment. First power play for the Boston Bruins uh, tonight. Uh, Joel Emerson, two minutes for tripping. Uh, good work by Ramana, Francois. Yep, power play bronze. What is your team, Big Show? Uh, no game, uh, King. Uh, I only do one game per night. Uh, no, let's take out Rantanen and Taze uh, tonight. Uh, lucky to get one tonight without them. Oh, the gaming banana one, two, three in the house tonight. Uh, welcome aboard. Thank you, Jordan.
Uh, who has the best chance to beat Colorado, Alden, Nashville, Dallas, or Vegas? No one of them, King. But I will go with Na uh, Nashville. But the puck went out by the Boston on power play. The puck turned around. Go back behind the goal line. Marshall drives the puck to the left side. Montreal to get the puck. Marshall break uh, to the brass. The brass now on the right side. The brass coming at the Marshall. Marshall wrap on the back door. Fire the puck. Miss the net completely. The puck go outside the zone. And they go all the way back on the defensive zone. And Adam Foot uh, recover. Adam Foot. <laughs> I just see Kyle Foot on the TV. Uh, <laughs> Adam Foot. Make him void, make him a drive point to Marchand. Marchand contre the park. When I was shooting for the net, a uh, little, bit, little bit too far. And then Montreal recovered the park. Zuski, I believe. No, it's, uh, yeah, Zuski's coming now. Fire the park, black shot by Make and Void. Turn around. We're serving out by Marchand. Marchand passed the park a little bit too far uh, from the brusque. The park goes around Savard. Savard don't pick the park. A little bit over the, the stick of the Mike Rally. And they are going there. Uh, on the left side, and Mike Raleigh contre the pack. It's coming now in this raison. Less one minute to go remaining on the power play for the Boston Bruins. The first of the night. Try the pack right now to Clinton, bring the pack to right side. It was Eric Ola, by the way. Now the pack by Pitt Lake, intercept by the Montreal Canadian. Ola, draw the pack to under the side, stop at the blue line by Marchand. Marchand right now bring the pack uh, to Raleigh. Raleigh draw the pack to Ola. Ola, intercept by Jake Evans. Draw the pack outside the zone, and Raleigh going to recovery. All the way back to under the side. Uh, chasing went out by Greg Smith. Recovery for the Montreal Canadian. Jake Evans shoot a puck. Swim in, make a save with a glove. The puck go out all the way back on the defensive zone. Montreal Canadian uh, with the P3. P3 and now use the board. Pass the puck to Montreal Canadian. Don't put the puck to the right side of Swim in. Uh, we have a Dauphin, I believe, chasing the puck with Charlie McEnvoy. Go D to D. And they go to reset all the way back on the defensive zone. Now they are coming in offensive zone. Smith went out. Pass the puck to under the side. Two seconds remaining on the power play. We are even strength at that moment. The puck going in front of Montembeau. Greg Smith recovered the puck in the corner. Chase uh, with Romanov. Throwing puck in front of the net. Uh, Romanov, uh, Romanov still the puck. Drive the puck to uh, Dauphin. Dauphin don't pin the puck behind uh, uh, the defenseman. Boston Brown chasing, but turn around. Recovered by uh, Coy. Coy bring the puck right now. Uh, to Hola, Hola drive the puck to the left side, shoot the puck, Montembeau make a save, recover the puck, long stretch pass went out to Dauphin, Dauphin got hit, uh, turn around now by the Boston Browns, finally Romanov get the puck, uh, pass the puck, by intercept went out by um, Lazar, Lazar don't pin the puck behind the gate at uh, Montreal Canadian, Montembeau bring the puck, intercept went out by the Boston Browns, they are coming out around the board, pass go behind the net, uh, chase it by Saval, Romanov try to get a puck in front of the great hit between Romanov and uh, uh, I think it was Frédéric Manasso. The puck go by Montreal Canadiens. They're serving up by Clifton. They go D to D. They go to reset right away over there. The puck go to the left side. Pass the way by now. Drop the puck right now by uh, Nomak. Drop the puck all the way back. Shoot the puck. Oh! Hip. Uh, Romanov just missed the net, by the way. Romanov went on control the puck. Pass to Savard. Savard looking right now and waiting. Pass again to uh, Pitlick. Pitlick contre le puck. Pitlick's going to scaling the puck. Drive to Romanov. New defenseman's coming from the Montreal Canadiens. Romanov, long time on the ice. Uh, now Gallagher missed the puck completely. Return the puck behind the net. Back to Romanov. Romanov drive the puck. Bad play by now by the Boston. By the Montreal Canadiens. Montreal make a save. Gallagher. And of course, uh, Romanov. They completely make mistake after mistake. It's just crazy to see that. Um, Child Killer, welcome aboard. Thanks to be a part of the show. Uh, Mary William Aiden, welcome aboard. Or Kyle. Dan Afsham, uh, welcome aboard. Thank you so much uh, about that one over there. The park go to the side. Reset by the Montreal, by the Boston. Boston contra Boston. Charlie McCoy right now. Reset the park on the left side. The Montreal get the park outside the zone. They go to go all the way back on the defensive zone. All the way back to Montreal Canadian. Turn around right now by Pit Lake. Pit Lake try to get the park on the left side. Chasing right now by Mike Lally. Oh, MG. Super chat. 
Bitti dalı Sajaşmanı Superchat Rivers Sajaşmanı Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Sasha, about that one over there. Very kind of you. Yes, like I said, Mr. Uh, Hype. Thank you, Alexander and Steve G. Thank you so much. Uh, and our tap, uh, Julien, thank you so much about that one over there. Wow. Thank you enough to have to mention this. Yeah, he is special. Yes, he is. He deserves one more time. Here we go. One more time. The big chat. $50. Rivers. Sasha Schrader. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Panthers just score, Montour, 3-2. Yep. Montour. <laughs> <laughs> Gator, we talked about you last night. I don't know it was last night, but um, <laughs> every time I to score, Gator, I think about you, Mr. Uh, Gator, um, about, uh, about, about Moto. <laughs> Thank you so much, Sasha. No, I'm very kind of you. Oh, Super, Super Chat 297, Mr. Alexander Mayer. Here we go! Reverse! Super Chat! Alexandre Meyer, thank you! Thank you so much, I appreciate a lot. Uh, very kind of you, Steve. Eight shot for the Toronto, uh, for the Boston, three for the Montreal. Uh, some pushing scrum after the whistle between Frederick Anderson. And we have a face up on the left side of swimming at that moment. Uh, 9.05 to go. About that. Thanks so much, everybody. We appreciate you guys. That's the reason why we are really great people here. Uh, five having a stay final for the Gila Flower. Uh, yes, uh, Dan, about that. Yeah, it is. Uh, the puck go around behind it. Uh, tell her how to control the puck, bring the puck. We have play four versus four right now. Tell her how to drive the puck to rally back in the back door. Shoot the puck, but the boom make it safe. The puck go behind the net. We have a whistle about Mormon and... Hello. They saw the right side of the boat. But the way it's been good, Zef, uh, so far so good. The puck turned around, get out of the zone, and the puck turned right at uh, Chris Lee. A new subscriber, welcome aboard, Dian de Jondi, Alboudou. And Montebo make another save. Ten of the night. Uh. Super chat. Super chat. Dan Asham. Let's do it again. Super chat. Dan Asham. Reverse. Super chat. 
Thank you so much, Danny. Hey, Khaled, all of you are amazing. Great people like you, like every, like many others. Uh, thanks so much. Uh, super chat, Dan. Thank you, Steve. So now we're now in the park around to Jake Evan. Evan change the direction. Evan's coming now, skating with the pucks, coming to the blue line, skating puck, keep control, keep the puck for himself. Evan's on offensive zone, drive the puck behind Montreal recovery. I think it's Muff Hoffman. Shoot the puck, swimming, make a save. Uh, recovery went out by McCoy. McEnvoy went out, drive the puck a little bit in front of him. Still by Montreal Canadian. Hoffman's coming. Hoffman control the puck, change his direction, bring the puck all the way back to the blue line. And he's going to turn around right there. Great pass to Ramanev. Ramanev control the park and now kill the park for himself. He's coming down. Pass the park to the left side. Back to Pit Lake. A little bit too far for Hoffman. Now the first one get there is Debraska. Still by Hoffman. How about that one over there? Super chat. Super chat! In the zip! Here we go! Reverse! In the zip! Thank you, Mr. Inotap. Uh, thank you so much, everybody. We're a lot of people with Super Chat tonight. Uh, Buck went out in the corner. Inotap and Dan. Uh, I, both of you, Inotap. Uh, coach, you are poor commanding pizza ce soir. <laughs> uh, maybe go to, to Hooters. Look. Uh, <laughs> who is playing with this kid tonight, Hoffman? Thank you so much, everybody. Appreciate a lot. Uh, turn around up on a Montreal Canadian at the neutral zone. Puck left side right there. And it's coming to the puck. Montembeau one side, two times. Montembeau make a big save. And now Montembeau attacking right now. Anderson trying to get back around Gresslick. That pick uh, right there by the Lazar. The puck go to the blue line by Montembeau. Iris on the right side. Iris came forward. Iris pass the puck right there to uh, Lagenson. Lagenson, Iris. Iris drop the puck behind to Devarek. Devarek run the puck to under the side. Chasing by Pesada. Pesada run the puck behind Devarek. And we're going to hit the net, and we have a whistle on the left side. But Montembo, big save, back to back. And keep that one over there for the keep the score 0 0. Uh, good evening, not times you heard that they're having a state finale for just that. How about that? Uh, good evening, uh, Mr. Igor Pereira. Welcome aboard. Not a problem, Black Ox, uh, 97, uh, we love you. Uh, and just the fact you are coming up all the time here, we love it. And thanks again. The part we need by the Montreal Canadian, Pit League, bring it back to the blue line, and bank the Saval. Saval used the board uh, on the opposite side, back behind the net by um, Montreal. And then finally, the Pago outside the zone, they are coming all the way back uh, around. Uh, Hit by uh, Ramanov, the puck turned around by Montreal Canadian to the board, to Dauphin, Dauphin to Peru, Peru to Dauphin. Now pa Dauphin dumping the puck, chasing went out by uh, Pit Lake, I believe, and uh, Peru and Dauphin will turn around the Boston, get up out there by Ola, Ola drive the puck to the left side, control the puck to Nozek, Nozek's coming, shoot the puck, Matembo make a save, the puck go in the corner, recovery by Ola, run the puck around the net, uh, chasing in the corner, and finally to Fonino, finally the uh, puck turned out, I believe. Uh, yeah. The puck go around the side, Montreal shoot the puck on the other side, go back to Dauphin, Dauphin fire, swimming, make a save, and it's going to put the glove over the puck. We have a whistle at that moment on the right side of swimming. Go Sharks, uh, Steve G. Glafla will always be on a heart and uh, one great abs. Yep. I agree with you about that, Dan. Thank you again, everybody, for the spread chat, uh, for everything. As for some, at 65, you can't afford caviar on the pizza.
Give it time out. Uh, you're right, sir, about that. Uh, Coach, how does Aguena? Pretty good. They're hanging there with me. Uh, honestly, today I work during the afternoon, but um, they, uh, I see them during the afternoon, during the week. Like when I go to the pool, and I, I call him but PK, my Aguana. Uh, not looking good in our top so far. That's awesome, Dan. It was in 1997 when he did his slap shot. Yeah, I'm not sure if I do it again tomorrow, but we'll see. Um, we have a lot of games coming next week. Bergeron should have parked the table, make a save. Tomorrow you have only one game in the shell. Uh, nine Tuesday, five Wednesday. Um, Eleven Thursday, I believe, and then Friday night, 15. Then we have one game report May 1st. Thank you, Dan. Yeah, it was. I don't know yet if we do the game or not tomorrow because we're going to prepare for the playoff. We're being to see now. Boston's coming. Marshall's coming to the left side. Turn around. Great back checking went out by... Um, Oh, and the Boston score. Bergeron, Marchand, and Debrask, and the Boston open the score 1 0. Turn over behind the net. Make effect again. Let's see what happened. We have right now um, P3 battle for the puck. The puck turn around. We have uh, Edmondson, and then. Uh, Hoffman did not cover the guy in front of the net. Uh, you can see Mike Hoffman did not put Bergeron. Zuski watching, Caulfield watching. That's only play the obvious with you. If you want to make blame Caulfield, Zuski play. It's right there on the defensive zone. They are completely one of the worst in NHL. They are game after the game. They gave goal against them constantly, constantly. Uh, Hoffman, but more is key coffee. It, it just, I don't know how they can learning to get the gap better. Um, it's really helpful to watch, to be honest with you. But they can score. Here we go, Montreal reset right now. Uh, and we have a 4.27 to go. They are golfing already, Sasha. Yep, Sasha did all the work uh, again, yep. About that one there. Karin, uh, welcome aboard. Karin, you're up to Where was the defense? Uh, Petri behind, everything like that. Yeah. I agree with you about that one. Yeah, Karin. The park goes behind the net. Uh, Parlement 3, Gallagher, bring the puck all the way back to the blue line. It's seven out by Lagasson. Lagasson bring point for the net. Gallagher cannot catch it. Uh, Pitley went out bad off for the puck to Evans. Evans a little bit over Jordan. Iris coming on the front side zone. Iris control the puck. John Jordan loses his edge. Okay, we'll carry on right now. And for the net, uh, Boston bring the puck to the side. Turn around by uh, Gallagher. Gallagher's coming now. Gallagher pass the puck to the side to Lagasson. Get hit. Uh, the puck turn around behind the net by Gallagher. And finally, the Turn around by uh, Smith. Smith got hit. Uh, and turn around by the, Mont by the Toronto. Uh, well, by the Boston. And then finally, the puck go back uh, to Ramanev. Ramanev pass the puck back. Uh, as and they're going to go D to D right away there, waiting for the puck. Uh, do you know Patrick Fenn? Uh, um, comment to go. Uh, thank you, Karine. 
Uh, he's uh, still at home, Yan. He retired almost, so we don't hear nothing upon him. That's normal. The puck turned around right now by the... They were wrecked, lose the puck right now. The bus don't get out the zone, don't pin the puck. Are we behind a uh, Montembeau uh, with 3.05 to go uh, with 16-6, six, six, the shot there. If I'll start with a bad pass to P3, yes, look, in the corner. Uh, yeah, coach, they can score, but the goal of the game is to score more. Cut your open, and uh, I agree with you about that one over there. Uh, yeah, we know Patrick fan. If you're under the same retirement, then you should. Sure I know. He played a lot. Look. Now they're coming. Boston, don't pay park behind Montembeau. Chase him right now. Montembeau played the puck around it. All the way back to Zuski. Uh, drive the puck. Savar. Savar rim the puck. All the way back to Ramanaf. Uh, Ramanaf right now. Pass the puck to Zuski. Zuski's coming now. On the blue line. He's coming to the red line. To the blue line now. On the fence is on. Fire the puck. Uh, Miss the net. Or maybe block shot by uh, swimming the puck. Go behind the net to, uh, to Zuski. Zuski's getting with the puck. Bring the puck to the left side. Recovery pass. Savar. Fire the puck. Swimming. Make a save. Rebound by Altman. Back to Caulfield. Caulfield behind the net. In front of the net to Savar. Savar's We'll go backwards. Savar back to Caulfield. Caulfield lose. Uh, keep the puck. Great play by Caulfield. Back again to Savar for the net. They miss the net by Altman. Shoot the puck by Romana behind the net. Leave the puck to Caulfield. Now back again to the blue line by uh, Savar. Savar back to Caulfield. Leave the puck behind the net to Altman. Altman controlling. Montreal attacking right now. Montreal keep control on the offensive zone. Montreal draw the puck and by Altman. Break away by Eric Ola. I'll break away for the Mike Altman. Great save. We have a... Penalty right there. And a penalty shot. Uh, penalty shot. Wow. We have a penalty shot for the Boston Bruins. He dropped the stick after. Yeah, no penalty there. Yeah, no penalty there. Hoffman did an amazing great play back checking. He dropped the stick after that. And the score. Wow. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Wow. Shocking.
I think it was slashing Pag Hoffman. The slashing was over the stick, uh, Yamo, and he never lose the puck. He never lose his, his stick. And then he dropped his stick after that. Wow. <laughs> François. Unbelievable. But we now use the board by the Boston Bronx and the offensive zone and recovery by Petri. Petri ran the puck around the board. It just set by uh, Gallagher, I believe, dropped the puck behind uh, to Jake Evans. Battle in the corner with Raleigh. Hit right now. No call for interference. Now Raleigh ran the puck around the board to Marchand. Marchand's getting the zone. Back again to Bergeron. Bergeron's coming out. Kick out the puck on the right side. Marchand just hit on Petri. It was a little bit, mm, I don't know if it was late. He gave the puck. Power play for the Montreal. It's up on the right side. Montreal 31 on the power play and 8 for Boston on PK. Petri went out. Back the puck went out to Suzuki. Suzuki's coming now. Ken Coffey scores on the Gila Fleur. Back to Petri. Petri went out. Back to Suzuki. Suzuki went out. Control the puck. Bring the puck to Devarek. Devarek to Hoffman. Hoffman went out. Back to Petri. Petri's coming now. Petri at the blue line. Back again to Hoffman. Hoffman's coming now down. Hoffman change the direction. Go back all the way back there to Carfield. Carfield's controlled the puck. Carfield back to Hoffman. Hoffman open up to Petri. Fire! Black shot. And the puck go somewhere else and they have a whistle. Uh it is quite Bergeron. You have vomi la bien. Okay, go, go. Absent Hoffman already. Puck winning by the Montreal Canadiens. Petri fire! Black shot by Swimming with a blocker. Suski recovered the puck to Devorak. Devorak to Suski. Bring the puck right there to Petri. Turn around by the Montreal Canadiens. Boston controlling the puck right now. Don't put the puck all the way back. One more time for the Montreal before the end of the period with 17 seconds to go remaining. And Montreal's coming on the right side over there. Black coming to the zone. Turn around right there. Boston, don't put the puck. It's going to be the end of the period. Wow. Uh, 
Uh, nice guy. I'll lay before the game. Yep. Yeah, Mo. Was very good. Tough one for sure. Seventeen nine. Don't forget to click on the likes. Uh, it took Charlotte Angan to score another goal and run with King said that Bonsoir Nicolas de Gobi. Uh, je pense Michel Zand live at the end when it uh, why did Elsa over a clean check? Uh, if Emerson's on ice, I feel like stay quiet. <laughs> Look said about that one over there. Let's move on to the second period. Uh, check out become a last art. Coach going to choose the ref for the playoff. Is the Sunday or the offset during the season? Uh, usually it's a performance during the, during the season uh, run, with, but also both of them. I will say to you both about that. One player for P3. Look, uh, we just forgot to just press on the likes now. Thank you, Michael. Go explain what this was. So, all right. So, if let's go talking about the. Um, the last position in the NHL. Montreal at 51 point, all right, and then uh, and Arizona at 51 point. Both are at the bottom in the NHL. 31, 32. With the number a W, Arizona is 31 and Montreal is 32. We all agree with that on the standing NHL. But to find a way for the NHL draft lottery, the one of the most W get the first pick, the first round pick chance, and Montreal is going to become number two. So they they go with the, the team as the most the W to find who is going to be the last team in the NHL. So it's completely reverse at what's going on in the playoff or you're standing. Usually, if number eight, number nine are the same number that point but the first tiebreaker is the number of the w so right now arizona is 31 montreal is 32 but for the draft they gave the first pick a chance to arizona because they have more w so that's how it works you can ask for a review on a penalty pierre martin um only if it's a major, a major PR. So if I go in the corner, I give a elbow for five minutes. Now it can be reviewing about that, um, Pierre Martin. Au fait, j'ai un match nul de deux, un bon match. Félicitations, Nicolas. Danny, what is brother Luna? Uh, do you think Arizona will have more points que Montreal à la fin de saison? I'm not sure about that one over there. Florida, 13 straight. Uh, Costa and Ghetto said they tied the game 3-3. Three, three. Uh, I think you can only on a measure call. Yes, Ron, uh, don't know that. Uh, I'll know that uh, about that. We're going to bring Andrew Lepage uh, for the Hockey Nation Live Show inside of the Montreal Canadian. Uh, welcome aboard, Mr. Andrew. How's it going, Coach? How's Good. everybody doing? What is your first impression of the first period? A uh, little bit of confusion there in their own end, as usual, misassignments defensively. Uh, I didn't like the uh, the uh, penalty shot, though. I don't think, uh, tr truthfully, I don't even think uh, Hoffman came down on his stick. I think he just kind of played the part, if you know what I mean. So I, I don't even think that was deserved. But anyway, just looking at the replay, it didn't look like he made contact. But uh, the misassignment on the first goal with uh, Suzuki and Caulfield, because really 
there was no hope for um, Edmonston in front of the net by himself. Uh, he was outmanned, so there was no chance there. But other than that, uh, at least they're playing a spirited game. Um, yeah, first, yeah, first of all, like on the penalty, the penalty shot, Hoffman make a mistake again to turn over the puck, right? So we have to be honest yeah, with you. Yeah, on the that there, yeah. But, but, but he didn't but nail, nail he it. He played an amazing, great back checking, and he played a yeah. right away with there. Do you yeah. have a slashing on the stick? Yes, possible. possible. Well, if you look closely at it, it doesn't look like he made contact. But, I mean, a smart hockey player plays that too. He makes but it look what happening about this is what happening is this part. He dropped his stick mm -hmm. half second or one second after the Hoffman touched your stick. Well, no, but I mean, that, exactly. I mean, the way I was trained to do it, too, is if you can get a call, you drop your stick, make it look that way. And that's exactly what it looks like. Looks well, like he, he did dropped late. That's the problem. That's for me is a problem of the ref yeah. because he, the, the stick was out. Yeah. Also, yeah. I think that one it should be a uh, 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 it should be a power play and not a, a penalty shot. That's the my biggest yeah. problem about that, that one over there. I agree. That's I the agree biggest on that thing too. about that. Um, yeah. So on that one, now the zone coverage first goal. Alfman uh, jumping the two, two defensemen was one the side one behind one the side, but yeah. uh, Alfman changed the direction. But again, Zuski and Caulfield was behind. Uh, it was completely again nothing yeah. to do with ice. Position. So it's all out about of that one over there. Yeah, so, that's uh, exactly what I was saying. They were out of position for it. You couldn't you couldn't blame Petrie behind the net, and you couldn't blame uh, Edmondson in front of the net by himself. Uh, Pierre Martin, you should thank for a penalty shot would be uh, no, no, it's not. Uh, thank you so much, Karin. Uh, very kind. What of a you. hit! What a hit by Petrie, though, eh? What a beautiful hit! Yeah, <laughs> on Bergeron. Yeah, it was a great yeah. one over there. Um, for me, as an Av fan, we should end 31 because it's a shame for Montreal to finish a season of the worst team of the league. Uh, yeah, nothing I, to do with this, uh, yeah. of course, uh, about number 31. Um, it's, you know, it, it should, if you think this will, of course, you should, Zuzki, Romanov, Caulfield, uh, you should fire everybody because that's the team yeah. concept. It's not because of one player's. Uh, That's right. At least you have something, other facts you can tell us about that. Uh, the hat man, uh, the moment, evident, the but on celebrity, the pas bon, mais évidemment, the mood. Um, he, he, uh, the hat man, uh, I, I think he, he, the, they called the, the penalty shot, so he was good because they, they called it. At the end of the day, and he never touched the puck like Andrew said. He, the stick go over. Uh, yeah. Over. He the, played the, that well. Hoffman actually played that well. I was quite impressed with his back check on that play. So, he did a uh, great job. Uh, and no, in uh, uh, our said to you, great tripping tonight for the Gil Lafleur. Yes, that was beautiful. Well, we knew who does it better, Montreal, and what a great job they did. Just. Outstanding, outstanding, and well deserved, of course. You know, yeah. it was hard. It was hard even watching it. Uh, the tears started to, to to bubble up there. It was really hard to watch. It was well done, Panamatoa Canadian for sure for more time. Uh, King of yeah. Gamer, uh, who has the hardest schedule? Is Montreal at that moment King? But that is not is not easy anyway. But Montreal played Toronto. Uh, sorry, Boston, New York Rangers, and the Florida Panthers. Yeah. Uh, Mario Tremblay vient de dire que Guy a eu la même ovation que Maurice à la last game of the forum. Yeah, I, I think so too. Not. I agree with you. Uh, if anything is a two-minute minor, if anything allowed, I saw the stick drop late. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. exactly what and that's, that's exactly what we're questioning. And even that penalty at the end where Buddy went after Petrie again, there should be a two-minute penalty, not yeah. just a you know what I'm saying, on top of what he just did, and I don't know if there is. I agree with you, Kez, about that one over there. Like I said, um, if you call that, just call it two-minute slashing. 
He was not yeah. like all the way like he can't back and he for me Hoffman played good whatever he did oh, say he played perfect good. perfect he played it so well I was very impressed with his back check yes he messed up by making it happen but what a what a recovery he did a great job to recover Alan said it would not happen if Hoffman not get the puck away like he does 10 times a game True, but again, at least at least give him credit for the back check. I mean, he did. Uh, he tried to do that as cleanly as possible, and he did a great job. Got to give him seen, credit because we're always knocking him. You know. Yeah, I've seen many penalty shot. If it's obviously tried to get a puck and he fell, it's a bad call. A bad call. The the, the rules are the penalty shot, the hat man, uh, the hat man, and the NHL. If you don't touch the puck when you start. You can yeah. you can you can start again, right? right. If he was touching right. the puck and he passed the puck, that'd be that's different. Now is um, it's a shot is cancelled or they stop the right. the shot or that. Exactly. So that's the reason they want to see the review a little bit quicker after that for be sure and it should accept the goal. You know that. Yeah. Another opportunity measure pressure on the Tampa Bay Lightning. That's what I'm sure they do. Um, How's that game going? Cat, uh, four three and off for the Tampa Bay. Oh wow! Okay. Yeah. Wow. Um, Panther are putting major pressure on the. All right. And Alexi ask uh, if you like uh, can use so far. Oh, I love him. I love what he's done. I'm very pleased. And like I say, you know, yes, there's a lot of mess that was left for him. We got to remember, big mess left for him. It's going to take some time to clean up that mess. So we got to be patient. No, he, he did an easy job. It's, for me, he did good, but it's not there. It's what's coming now, what's coming after the season. That's why we need to judge what can use is with Jeff Gordon. The, mm -hmm. the, 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 It'll the be trade, bigger for sure. The trend case, the UFA, the new contract, uh, UFA, yeah. you know. So that's really where you're going to see Jeff Gordon. Jeff Gordon, you can use to get up. Yeah. Uh, For me, I'm more concerned that they the drafting improves. That's what I'll be happy with. You know what I mean? Just to see that alone improve is going to be a big step forward. Yeah. For me, you know. This kid does not check anyone. Yeah, he's he's not playing the same. He well, I mean, he's always had a back checking problem, but he just does not look like himself. He hasn't looked like himself for about seven games. I'll be honest with you. I wouldn't be surprised at the end of this week or next weekend, next week, you're going to hear Nick Ski play the last 20 game with an injury. Yep, I agree. I agree. I Something's up. Surprised. I know I could be wrong, but I would be surprised. He just, he seems to be Two power in the roof for the Panthers, but they just got score again. There. Wow. <laughs> wow. Don't be sorry, uh, Corinne. I love it. It's all good. Just keep playing injured, maybe that's is shy on it. Um, yeah, that's what I'm thinking also, Alexander. That's not, but again, that's not make him an excuse for how he's on coverage no. players. Exactly. No, because he's had that issue before that he started playing that way. So he's had that since he's been in the league. Nick Paul scored a goal for the short and dirt for the Tampa Bay. Tous les joueurs que le ciel a changé commencent à apparaître dans leur jeu. Uh, tous les joueurs que le CR a échangé commencent à apparaître dans leur jeu. Uh, you talk about the, all the players they got trade at uh, Montreal and now they look like you sh that show under play at that moment. And, uh, and what you a beauty goal for Paul. Uh, we love you, Karin. Uh, four three for the Tampa Bay. It's okay, Karin. I'm sure he love you comments. Danny, <laughs> thank you so much. Good on. Uh, this key is play and play injury. Want to play on every game is good for the. Is it this good for the team? <coughs> if it was major Roger, he would not play. Right. So I think right. it's fine, but um, like I said, I would be surprised sure. something there. Yeah. And what is up with um, Carey? I mean, it's making me wonder. Whereas uh, they brought uh, Primo back up, is Carey feeling that knee again? Um, I wouldn't be surprised he shut down for the rest of the week. 
Oh, the, the, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. But something's got to be going on for them to have brought Primo back up. So it makes me wonder if there's he's, his legs not working out the way he wanted to. He, he don't. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so I, I, I reevaluate his, you know, have a program so I can see all the play. And I watch, I watch him a lot. Yeah, it's right yeah. between the two, the, the four game, right? Mm -hmm. Every time he got a shot, yeah. when he go down, when he pick it up, he always go up, always on the left leg. Yes, yeah. Because he don't want to touch there. He's mm -hmm. still a bit longer up at what usually he go down because of his knee. So he protect yeah. a lot his right knee. Like, and hockey is called T-push. So from T-push, mm -hmm. you push from one side to another side. On the on, okay, is so much behind at what he was before. Oh, so big time, so big time. I see a couple of things. I'm thinking to make a, a video this at the end of the weeks, at the end of the season. So that would be good. He's going to be retired, but I think so. I got a feeling. I have a bad feeling he may hang it up. That's what I'm starting to wonder. I think well, you Johnny should do Golden, that. welcome aboard. Uh, another good night for Kidney. Good now time. five in the league, scoring 98 points, playing with a bit of chip on the shoulder. He's sailing in a shot someday. Uh, I'm not sure, Johnny. Still young. The number of the points in the QM is really uh, floating. So, because yeah. it's... The point is not this. When I want to see the full checking, the bad checking, is vision, is, is IQ, is stick angling, um, exactly. That's what you really believe, Johnny. Wow. So everybody, like Joshua, Joshua, where? Until I don't see him in the shell, I'm not excited about him. Exactly. Because yeah. it's a big step over there. The big difference when they come to the big league, you got to see how they adjust to the NHL game. It's a different world. Uh, Panthers visible are not playing soft. But his price going to retire as his play is not worth it, and it shall go presently. That's exactly what we're talking about. We we're, we're wondering. And I think, Coach, you're right to do a special on it. I think that would be a good thing. Uh, the Toronto Maple Leafs take the lead 2-1 over the Washington Capitals. Okay. Uh, is Mero Chenikov is good. Uh, Alexei, we talk about him a little bit. Uh, he's great hockey player. He was really concerned to be a top 10 this season. But he have a lack of commitment about uh physical or the weight room maybe you turn like that off ice program that's the reason right now alex you have a great talent yeah but i don't know how he's going to be that Altman should not be at the point uh look said about that one over there uh yeah. twice go sure. on uh, go on welcome aboard so let's go welcome uh, yes alex uh, offside, no goal. Alexi is a finesse player, not a checker. Yeah, well, he's he's, he's got to be able to to do some back checking. That's the thing. There is a responsibility there. Uh, what do you think about Les Gaston so far? Tonight? Yeah. Nah, he's okay. Okay. Yeah. I wouldn't be, I'm not, I'm not stunned by him. He's not playing overly badly like he normally does. Yeah, so he's kind of just in that medium ground. Got to see more. Got to see more of him. All right, time to go, my friend. Uh, see right you on. Thanks again. We'll see you after this 20, 40 minutes. Have an amazing, great. Right Thanks on. again for everything. You too. Take it easy. Right. We're going to drop the park here and um, and um, and the uh, Bell Center. Uh, Montreal is uh, on power play right now for five versus three at that moment for uh, forty seconds. Uh, Drop the puck right there on the pit lick, I believe. Pit lick control the puck. Draw the puck behind uh, two um, Hoffman. Hoffman right now on the right, on the left side of Swimman. Hoffman looking. We have two guys on the top. Back to Caulfield for Hoffman. Caulf Caulfield bring the puck to corner to Ski. Ski go back to um, Hoffman. Hoffman turn this direction. 18 seconds to go. No shot on the Montreal Canadian. Just pass the puck between Ski and Caulfield. And they are coming all the way up over there. The puck turn around. Fire the puck. Tip and for the net. No chance. The pit lick try to get a puck with pit lick. And Caulfield. Boston attacking right now. Run the puck all the way back to Hoffman. Two seconds before the, 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 they, are, they are coming. Five versus four. Back to Hoffman. Hoffman's coming now. Shoot the puck. Tip and for the net by uh, Devarek. The puck turn around. And Boston hanging there. And they don't pin the puck. 
and I'm on track and I do anything, five versus three, uh, unbelievable. It, it's just frustrating. And what junior team did you play for? I'll be the next question. <laughs> what do you think of the last second Patrick won his chocolate about the band extra up there? Um, the puck goes on the left side, recovery went out by uh, Montreal Canadian battle for the puck back on the blue line, Anderson back to Petri. Petri fire the puck, uh, he maybe be, maybe touch the goal line. If not, this is key. Run the puck, lose the puck in the corner. Boston don't pick the puck, intercept by Petri back to the other uh, side to Anderson. Anderson right now go to the, down the goal line, try to get a puck to Gallagher. Gallagher back to ski at the point. Uh, Gallagher back the puck to Petri. Petri is coming down. Petri and House coming in front of the net. Gallagher shoot the puck back in. And the Montreal score is Gallagher. Josh Anderson score. Josh Anderson, power play goal. 2-1. Uh, great play by the Montreal Canadiens on power play. F this is their first, second goal in the last uh, 14 time. Uh, they have a power play attempt and they score a goal. Uh, points on to our opponent with Andy's last show. I mean, Alec Petrov. Uh, Partner right now, Boston. Boston's going back. Great check by Baramanov, I believe. Recovery by Montreal Canadian. Bring the puck behind the net. Jake came in. Boston for ball for the puck. Pesada recovered the puck. Bring the puck in front of the net. Gave the puck. And turn around by the Boston Bruins coming out of the zone. And all the way back over the head of the Shannon Man. And go to uh, Johnny, uh, Jordan Harris. Uh, we'll go to reset right away back on the defensive zone of the Boston. Uh, look, uh, King, I think for Pride is a confidence thing. He will have a uh, too bad game. I forgot Kaliev would be fine for his crush again on Mayor, but he will never get fine as well. Look like his crush again in your face. Uh, have a blessed night. All the keep your stick blade on the ice. Uh, Twine, thank you so much. Pat season in Montreal. But one Kaliev is a second liner. The part we need by the Montreal Canadiens in the corner. Should the point for the net, women make a save. Puck to go at the blue liner. Back to our Iris, Iris went out, turn around, pass the puck right there. Montreal is uh, Anderson, shoot the puck on the left side by Legasson. Uh, recovery went out behind the net. Uh, it was P3, by the way. Battle went out between Clifton uh, or Carlo. Uh, Carlo went out, fall apart, and we have a battle with four players. Smith went out, uh, find a way to get a puck and uh, go back to Raleigh. Raleigh joined a rush, uh, dumping the puck uh, beside Montembeau, ran the puck to the side, chasing behind the net of uh, Montembeau. Edmondson completely stopped uh, Smith. The puck recovery by Montreal Canadian outside the zone. Intercept went out by the Dauphin. But now Marshall brings to Bergeron. Bergeron at the brush through the puck. Missed the net completely. The puck go all the way back at the blue line. Montreal don't pay the puck in the neutral zone. Marchand recovered the puck. Regroup on defensive zone. The pass to Bergeron. Bergeron back to Marchand. Marchand's coming now. Hit went out. Hit by two players. And now we have a uh, turnaround. And now the Marchand's coming back with uh, the brush. The brush went out with the puck. In front of Montembeau, turn around by Zuski. Drop the puck behind the net. Finally, the puck go to Jeff Petri. Petri went out. Long stretch pass right there to Zuski. Control the puck. When I was coming in offensive zone, pass the puck behind uh, to, um, I don't know who he was. The turn around and out by the Montreal Canadian. Intercept by Boston Bruins. Boston was coming at two versus one. And the back door. And shoot the puck and the goal. Uh, Eric Ola scores second goal of the night. Uh, Montreal got beat on the speed. Uh, and really bad play on the defensive zone of Montreal Canadian. I don't know what's happening there again. Caulfield, Zuski on the ice again. Caulfield did not follow his men. Um, yeah, Cole Caulfield. Uh, da, 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 da. 
It's happened yesterday when they score a goal. The opening team scored right away a goal. And that's happening tonight uh, for the Montreal Canadiens. Turn around right there. Great hit for the Boston Bruins. Uh, the puck goes to the right side, to the left side. Recovery by the Boston. Don't beat the puck in the neutral zone to tell her how. How's coming up as the puck to the, the left side. Should the puck miss it completely? The puck turned around by now by uh, Kreslek. Uh, bring the puck to Nozek. Nozek in front of Saval. Don't beat the puck on the defensive zone. By the Montreal Canadian, the coffee recovery puck, pass the puck to Saval. Saval's coming to the red line, coming to the blue line. Pass the puck to Ski. They leave Ski, coffee on the ice. Uh, just, <laughs> it's funny how the NHL, it's funny how the NHL coach reacts sometimes. They make a mistake, but they leave them on the ice. Like, they don't, they don't penalize everybody. They don't penalize them. So, you know what? You give a goal, but just go back. Just go back, Caulfield. Uh, you do a great job over there. It's just, it's not the same. If Boston shoot a puck, shoot blocked by Romanov. The puck turned around left side. Sabao hit almost the ref, recovered by the defenseman. Carlo, Carlo back to uh, Hula. Turn around with there. Montreal can do We have a penalty right there for the Boston Bruins. Uh, and the Montreal can zoom back on the power play. And that will be the third of the night. Uh, um... If Price is forced to retire, how does he can work for the team? And does insurance pay for a minute partial the contract? No. Uh, and after that, if the player retire, it's complete shutdown. He has no money to get paid back in our tap to the player. So he's going to lose $30 million, whatever he has. That's what happened in our tap. I never knew uh, Lafleur Roger. I hope Price take his ten million bonus and then retire this fall. Uh, about again, it's same thing about other general league. It's not goals you do. Some point is the option to play. Exactly, Alexandre. Great job, Coach uh, Carol Arinanen. Oh my God! Uh, and the house. Thanks to join us, Carol, tonight. <laughs> Hello, Matt. Thank you so much, Nicola. La Flash is not smoking. Ladies and around today. Switch so biography. He also quit for some time. Uh, he quit only uh, when he got a uh, couple of months ago or years ago uh, about that one over there. The Park Montreal Canadian, another power play for the Montreal Canadian. A five versus three, I believe. Four versus four. Oh, it was not a power play, by the way. Uh, Montreal is so classy, shot a beautiful trip in. Again, we love you, play hockey. Yeah, we'll see. Uh, Minnesota 1 0. Thank you so much. Go twice daily. Uh, it's not exactly LT. Uh, point time to have a problem with on his end. The last shot was from his Oleg Petrov. Petrov. Too early. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, salut, Mac Genet. <laughs> Mac Genet in the house. <laughs> with Tubi and Johnny. Sébastien Lemay! J'aimerais suivre la fête de Denis Richer. Oui, on lui a souhaité une bonne, très bonne fête ce matin, M. Sébastien Lemay. Merci de partager ce vœu. Uh, tell the please stop the Browns for scoring coach, uh, please. Uh, yeah, right. Yeah, 3 to 1. Try to catch up about everything. And now, Montreal Canadiens are 4 versus 3 at that moment. Uh, we have Zuski at the top. Uh, Zuski passes the puck to Pit Lake. Pit Lake to Ski. Back to Pit Lake. Pit Lake's looking now. Back to Ski. Looking right now. Fire the puck. Uh, black shot by uh, Charlie Coy. Recovered by Caulfield. And then the Boston dumping the puck again. And that's it right up by Pit Lake. Pit Lake brings the Ski. It's coming down. Back to Pit Lake. Shoot the puck. Miss the net, recovery by Caulfield. I don't know, Caulfield did not get a pass by Zizki, but as a subject, this is coming now. Back to Pit Lake. Pit Lake control the puck. Pit Lake change the direction. Pit Lake control the puck right there. Bring it back to Caulfield to the top. At the top of the line. Pass again to Zizki. Uh, with 48 seconds. 4 versus 3, 48. Uh, back to Caulfield. Caulfield's coming. Back to Zizki again. Zizki control the puck. Drop it. Uh, keep the puck for himself. Back to Pit Lake. Pit Lake went out to Zizki. Pass to Caulfield. Caulfield back to Zizki. Fire the puck. Tip in front of the net. Uh, don't pay. Intercept by Zizki again. Lose the puck by Boston Bruins right now. Caulfield looking back to uh, Zizki. Go! Zizki give the... Oh, my God! Zizki is struggle. Back again to another side. 
Back again to Pit Lake. Pit Lake at the top right now. Back to Caulfield. Caulfield's coming now. Control the pipe. Back to the ski at the, at the top. And back to Caulfield again. Fire park swimming, make a save. Recovery right now, pipe. Pit Dilver Rack. Battle right now. Boston dumping the park finally. And the park go all the way back uh, to Montembeau. And control the pipe behind uh, 30 seconds remaining. Uh, Bennett, whoop, second shift in the fight. Uh, Francois, go abs, go Nat. Uh, I'm going to need an experience after this game. But fight, Denis, Nat. Um, um, ben oui, uh, na, là, ici, il n'y a pas de gardien de but uh, en premier round. The turn around, we're not going to turn again in the fire of a puck. Anderson missed the net, the puck going to the corner. Five seconds for the four uh, versus five versus four. Puck going again to P3, back at the left side. Contre le puck all the way back. And they're going to go all the way right side for the sure. puck. Rebound! Boost the puck went up on the Montreal Canadian. And we're going to go all the way back on behind the goaltender. No power play right there. I'm watching the fight. Uh, Bennett and is, is, is Sergachev. Oh my God, Sergachev, he got toasted. By Bennett. Wow, Bennett is just jumping. That all is injured. Punition fini. And then, oui, depuis février, Yann. Paul uh, again 5-3 damage for Quinn. Montreal gonna win. Uh, come on, heck is that a bit shame? This rep is a joke. And what is a salty? Spencer Knight is out. Uh, go Montreal Canadian. I try to catch up with everybody right now. Uh, Karen, thank you so much. Les gens, on a plus le droit. Sébastien Lowe, coach Francis, c'est la fin de Denis Richer. Oui, uh, on a bien dit. Bennett, uh, whoop. Uh, Alexandre, il y avait une question à son point par uh, Renaud. Uh, Renou asks a question. Coach, uh, what is around 1936 when the plus switched from the metal skate blade holder to the plastic tuck system? Yeah, I don't know exactly 96, but at the end of the 70s, Renou, you're absolutely right about that one over there. So I apologize. I just, uh, I know I was trying to go around uh, about everything about that one over there. I uh, don't pull a uh, skip for captain. Not a chance. Look, uh, goal back uh, for Ovenskin. Tell uh, as I get big check. Uh, close bass goal by Ovenskin. is not count. Uh, here we go. Try to catch up everybody. About that, uh, we have um, 18 shots, 16, 11, 27. Seven shots for the Montreal during that period. Only one shot in the Boston score, by the way. <laughs> I need to get right of the bad guys you saw me the night. Uh, Here we go. We have to start right now. 11.27 to go remaining on the second period. Not much stuff right here. We're going to change this. Park going the corner behind Montembeau. Chasing by Lagasson. Lagasson right now is Jordan Harris. Park go back Charlie Coy. Bring the park to... Uh, to the left corner, chasing right now by the Montreal Canadian. Recovery the puck by Eric Ola, I believe. Battle right now in the corner. And we have four players join the party. They will rack, or uh, it's Nick Fodino uh, with uh, Lagasson. Shoot the puck and miss the net barely by, by, by Pesela. The puck stay in the zone by um, Carlo, I believe, or, uh, uh, or Lazar. It was Carlo. The puck go in the corner, shoot the puck on Montembeau. And we have a save right now. We are pushing right there, Fodino and Lagasson. Together. 
and another scrum, but nothing happened. Nothing shot for the runes. Tyler all sit at the bench. <laughs> Tempo B back on the step by step uh, domination program. And uh, leave caps uh, still 1 1. Go abs, go Matt uh, Cutler. Welcome back. By the way, I saw you earlier. I apologize, did not mention you about that. Uh, Rams Bergeron, welcome aboard. Thanks for joining us tonight. Uh, you have a question? Just do it. We're going to give you a chance to answer a little bit later. Toronto went out by, um, thank you, Matt, by the Toronto, uh, by the Boston, Frédéric Dompey the Park on the mountain boat. Interesting enough, drive the park to Romanoff, uh, chasing by Smith in the corner. Uh, no. No. The park to Romanoff, by Romanoff, Romanoff to get back on the left side. And they go back Caulfield. Caulfield down the park, all the way behind uh, the swimming. They set by Mike Riley. The park turn around, and they go all the way back on the defensive zone. Thank you, Karin. And back Savar. Savar use the board, bring it back to the left side. Intercepted out by uh, uh, Jake Evans. Recovered by Gallagher. Gallagher in front of the net. Uh, Save by now. Turn for the net. Oh, swimming. Uh, Miss the net. Um, Gallagher tipped the puck just beside the net. Uh, great play by Gallagher and uh, Pitlick and Evans. Uh, that line may be one of the best tonight. Uh, turn around and out by Petri. And the puck go by Boston Bruce Bergeron. And the puck dumping by Marchand right away. Back behind Montembo drop uh, the Pet Jeff Petri. Uh, we are right now at the half of the game. Less of 10 minutes to go at the at this at the second period. Uh, the puck go behind the net. Chasing went out by uh Taylor all back on the line on the on the ice. So now all battle for the puck. Swimming stop the puck, draw the puck to all. The turn around right now is coming by Nozek. Nozek back to all. All's coming to red line, to the blue line, an offensive zone. Taylor all on the right side, Montembo make a save, rebound, Mr. Montembo make another save. Turn around right now by the, the Montreal Canadian and intercept right now by get a go. Pass again to Dauphin dumping the puck all the way back to the left side. And it's just right now by the Boston Bruins uh, around the board. Uh, and it goes deep, deep. Reset right now. Long search pass right now. Tip by Ahola. Uh, Try to set by uh, Nozek in front of Dauphin. And dumping right now by the Montreal Canadiens behind the goaltender. Uh, swimming. Uh, swimming past the puck to full board. Full board dumping the puck to the front of Perron. Uh, Perron. Pass the puck right now by... Um, Lazar Billy behind the net. Uh, Receiving out by Montreal Canadian Jordan Iris. Uh, don't get hit. And pass the puck. Intercept by the Boston Bruins. It's coming to the right side. Shoot the puck. Went to the ball. Make a save with the glove. F wrap up uh, by the Boston Bruins. A hit. Shoot the puck for four bird. And now full new try to get the tripping on the Lagasson. And then the finally, but Montreal get a puck outside the zone. And Pike Dauphin rimming, rimming the puck all the way back down. Swim in. Swimming, give the puck on the defenseman, uh, Micken, uh, Micken Boy. Recovery by the Boston Bros on offensive zone now. It's Mike Riley. Riley's coming now. Riley control the puck. Riley on the right side of Montembo missed the net completely. Got hit behind the net by Savard. The turn around by the Boston key the puck by Bray Marchand and Fana Passada. The puck around by Savard. Savard rim the puck to the other side. A little bit too far from Anderson. Recovery by Bergeron. Bergeron regroup with the defenseman. The puck go behind Montembo. Marchand try to get a puck. The first one to get there. And Fana Romana. Recovery went out by uh, De Bras. De Bras bring the puck to Macken Boy. He keep the puck. Uh, Clint Ford, uh, Clinton. The puck go to round by um, Savard. Savard battle with Bergeron. Win the battle. Now Bergeron is coming out and the back door. A little bit too far for Marchand. Turn around. Marchand contre the puck. Went out. Bring the puck behind the net to De Bras. De Bras to Bergeron. Fire and bend the back door for Marchand. Drop the lose his edge. Lose his edge. Finally, the puck go outside the zone by the. Montreal Canadian recovered by Anderson. Battle right now, Anderson uh, uh, on the left side with the board. And recovery by now by Romanoff. Romanoff passed the puck on the side to another side for Montreal. They are coming now. Back again to Anderson. Uh, shoot a puck, tip and find the net. Uh, missed the net completely. Just keep as a puck to the blue line. D to D. And Petri shot the puck in front of the net, intercept by the, goal, uh, by the defenseman of the Boston Bruins. Pass the puck in neutral zone. Finally, a battle in the, between Petri and uh, Frederick. Uh, 
Uh, Frederick dumping a puck on the right, on the left side of Montembeau, chasing one out is Edmondson, and when the ball out, bring to Petri, Petri lose the puck uh, after he bounced uh, over his stick, now Frederick uh, recovery puck on the right side of, of the Montembeau, uh, the back door passing, great save by Montembeau with the blocker, another shot by the Boston Bruins, Montembeau make another save, stop, shoot, puck again, Grizzly miss the net, recovered by Frederick, Frederick on the back door, and Montembeau make a save with a glove, no rebound, well, that's what will happen at that moment at 6 of 6. 26 shot for the. Thank you so much. Um, Karen, I look for you. I look forward to see you next time. Uh, Max, no, I think you. Uh, uh, no, I say you will return next season with the Montreal Canadiens. I don't see him leaving. Uh, I think right now they already know for the last two weeks it's just, this is over, and uh, they don't do anything to try to get better because they know a better pick is better for them. I don't see anything uh, against him. Uh, Tampa with five, Florida three. Wow, what a surprise again for that no love between Tampa and the Panthers. That's the beginning of the playoff. Uh, uh, Renta got hurt. Uh, Tampa is on the mode series. Danny Rodriguez, I agree with you. About that, you know, that's you know, Serge, Matt, uh, Matt. Uh, uh, Luke, uh, welcome back, Mr. Luke. Uh, thanks for joining us. Anderson score. Um, um, uh, who said that? Uh, Patrick Anderson. I didn't have put the gold yet. Uh, I don't know why. Thank you, Pat. Karina and the trouble coach. Uh, yes. We don't know yet how long he would be out, but uh, I agree with you about that. They could be in the trouble. Aguano winning on the left side of the Montembeau. Montreal get out of the zone. They are coming now. Uh, three versus two. Don't be the puck behind that. Make boy. Uh, hit uh, Evans. Finally, Montreal recovered the puck in the blue line. Uh, go DD. Sabo to Romanov. Shoot the puck. Swimming. He missed the net barely by the shot of Romanov. The puck to the left side. Recovered by Nozek. Nozek presses the puck to the left side to Grislek. And we have uh, Don't be the puck by the Boston. Um, long stretch pass. Sabo. Long stretch man out to Gallagher. Uh, to, uh, Gallagher. Run the puck around the board, all the way back now to, uh, back to uh, Gallagher. The puck to the another side, uh, and try to get a puck to uh, Gallagher. It's sorry right now, he's going to the bench. Uh, reset by the Boston Bruins, in front of the net is Gressley. Gressley used the board to pass the puck in the third zone. Intercept now by the Montreal Canadian is a pit leak. Pit leak to run the puck around the board. Intercept now behind the net, pit leak recovery. Pit leak is getting well. Pit leak. Tyler Petley ran the puck around the net uh, behind uh, Perrault. Perrault try to get a puck for himself. Perrault control the puck. Perrault's coming now all the way back to the blue line. Pass the puck, intercept the Boston, but finally Perrault recovery. Back again to Romanov, or it was uh, the defenseman. I don't know who he was. Uh, anyway, Jordan, uh, Jordan Iris went out, recovered the puck. Uh, Iris went out, pass the puck to Laguesson. Laguesson used the board. Pass the puck, Pepe Lick, lose the puck right there. Recovery by the Boston Bruins. He go DVD back to Rally. Rally don't play the puck behind uh, Montembo. Montembo play the puck, give the puck to Boston Bruins. Uh, finally, pass it up, bring the puck back to Iris behind the net. Uh, Jordan Iris skating with the puck. Pass the puck right there to Anderson. Change the direction. Anderson's coming now. Pass the puck to Legasson. Back to Legasson. Uh, to Anderson. And uh, pass it up, drive the puck. Swimming, recovery puck. Pass the puck behind the. Uh, 
uh, to Raleigh. Raleigh passed the goal. D to D. Vessel ran out by the Boston Bruins. Uh, Try to get a puck outside the zone. Finally, they did. They are coming now in the offensive zone. Marchand's coming now. Marchand drives the puck behind uh, to um, Charlie Coy. Anderson ran out. We have a battle right there. Marchand and Anderson. And now we have Marchand go all the way around. Marchand and uh, uh, try to get everything. All right, let's go back here. I would keep saying with the play player much better under him. Kind of Mark, I agree with you about that. Uh, not a problem, Patrick. Uh, good job, shot the likes. Thank you, Danny Anderson, uh, Michel. Uh, uh, Patrick, that's very free for the leave. The balls are back. Mode, uh, Francois. Uh, I'm back. Uh, Blackout, welcome back. Oh, man, was the pregame very good, Roger. Sorry, I play one to play. Not a problem about that. Uh, deserve it. Ça fait quasiment 20 ans qu'on n'a pas pu faire la deuxième round. Harper, say hi to everyone. Harper and Joshua. Uh, amazing. La force, I agree with you about that. Uh, Marchand bit and it, uh, again. If Matthews does not score, it will be five games without a goal. The Premier National will be preferring that. Um, yep, he is. I hope Marchand fall down and don't get up. <laughs> uh, should not play his nose should be illegal. <laughs> Wish I saw the Tribune. Hope to see you later. It was one of the best ever. Uh, Roger, I would suggest you go to the YouTube channel. Roger. And uh, maybe not right now, maybe later or tomorrow. You're going to see this, I'm sure, live over there. Minnesota and Nashville push each other a lot, by the way. Here we go. Oh my God, Nashville, Minnesota, guys. Wow, I know Matthew's not going to go 60. Matt, uh, sleeping so well. Awesome. I can't wait for some beat, uh, Marchand. And we have a face-up on the left side of Montembeau at that moment. Uh, they were right face to Charlie Coy. Park winning by the tone. And another four versus four. Uh, 27 shot versus 16. Montreal did not shot since like 14 minutes. Remaining, so it's like 10 minutes over 10 minutes. Did not shot any shot on the net there. Now the puck go behind the net. Uh, Ricard Pazinski bring puck to the blue line. They go to Romanov. Romanov's coming now. Skating to middle. Change the direction. Pass the puck to Carfield. Carfield drive to Romanov. Romanov back to, uh, to Savar. Savar are now looking for Carfield. Leave the puck away back to Ski. Ski control the puck behind the net. Skating up. Control the puck for himself. Back to Romanov. Change the direction right there. Romanov control. Change the go again. Another direction. Back again behind the net to Caulfield. Caulfield the corner. All the way back. All the way up. All the way to blow up. And back again to Saval. Back to Caulfield on the back ends. Recovery. Caulfield. Change the direction now. Caulfield in front of the... In front of the net. Shoot the puck. Miss the net completely. Recovery by Suzuki. Suzuki control the puck. Suzuki lose the puck. Recovery went out by the Boston Browns. Steal the puck. And Suzuki go out there. Kreslik, break the puck right now. Back to Debras. Debras can now shoot the puck. Matambo make barely to say the puck goes slight on his left side. Recovery by Hoffman. Hoffman lose the puck. Boston recovery. Go D D. Now Raleigh fire the puck. Matambo make a save. No rebound. And that's what we at. Uh, 29 shot uh, for the Boston Bones. Uh. I agree. Matt uh, is going to be on the 60 club. Uh, I will be able to say I have got 60 good players don't count as a set of what's Um, yep, Kelly, I am. Pagwana winning by the Montreal Canadian behind the net, Jeff Petrie. 
skating with the pucks, coming out on the toy zone, looking, checking, drive the puck behind to Mike Hoffman, Hoffman back to Petri. Petri now, changes his direction, drive the puck around the board, and recovery now behind the net by Jake Evans to Hoffman, but still by the Boston Bone, they are coming out. Two versus two, Eric Ola, control the puck right there at the blue line, changes his direction right there, puck stay in the zone, recovery by McEnvoy to Murali. Raleigh's coming now, Raleigh drive the puck behind to uh, Taylor Hall. Hall right now, fire the puck, uh, Matembo make a save with a glove and no rebound. Always to see the 30 goal, uh, 30 shot for the Boston Bruins. Uh. McEnvoy shoot the puck. Oh my God. McEnvoy score. Montembo sleep. Wow, 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 wow. Face off, losing by Montreal. And Montembo. Wow, 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 wow. They were wrecked, lose the face off. <laughs> That's bad. Uh, he see it completely. Have nobody in front of net. Um, I don't know about that. That thing, Primo, they need to be at Laval, so I don't know. I don't know if Laval won yesterday. It was tip. Puck to P3, P3 and now control the puck. Pass the puck to Emerson. Puck behind the net, uh, recovery now by Boston Bruins, control the puck right now, like, uh, exactly, uh, Zef. I think they will just bring him tonight because Laval does not play, he's going to call, he's going to go down tomorrow. Laval, the puck go behind the net, uh, uh, all the way behind of the, Montreal, don't pee the puck, be, uh, uh, behind swimming, just so keep it out, back to Caulfield, Caulfield should have puck missed the net, uh, and the puck go again, Connor with Zuski chasing him out by Clifton. And the puck go back to uh, Zuski. Bring the puck to Caulfield, show the puck, and it could save maybe swimming. I'm not sure it was a block. Turn around right now, back to the puck to the line, go back to left side, back to Alfman. Alfman looking on the back door. Get sick by the Boston. And the puck go outside his own. Boston's coming out with 23 seconds. Does anyone know Anderson says this? Uh, uh, is out until the playoff for sure, possible longer. Uh, yeah, last night was 49 shot, Matt. Uh, yeah, it was 49 for the Montreal, only 16 tonight. The puck go all the way back on defensive zone. It's going to be the end of this period, guys. <laughs> Syracuse beat Laval last night, 5 to 1. Ouch. All right, we're going to take a, a timeout here, a couple of, a couple of minutes timeout, and we're going to reset the next couple of minutes. So don't go nowhere. Andrew Lepard will be with us shortly. We're going to talk about the second period. So give me about two minutes, and we'll be back for uh, after that. Uh, You made my day, you made my day, you made my day, oh, day, oh. you made my day, you made my day.
we'll be there and one minute. Welcome back, Mr. Andrew. How's it going, coach? Enjoy the period? I'm hanging there with everybody in the chat. Um, we wel welcome everybody. Thanks to be a part of the show. Mr. Andrew, tell us a bit more about what happening for in the second period. Oh, well, you like you said, yeah, look, good, entertaining period, at least. At least it was very entertaining. Lots of hitting going on. It's nice to see Savard hitting, and he's doing well that way. And Dolphin. Wow, what a hit. He's playing he's playing one of the best games I've seen him play all year. Tell you the truth, he's standing out. Um, Anderson's having a, you know, at least showing some emotion as well. And, and Petrie, like we've been saying, Petrie has been playing well. You know, really, you can't knock all of his game. But you look at the goals, the last goal, I mean, it's uh, Dvorak losing the face off and screening Mountain Bull. You can't blame the goalie on that. Then the goal before that, it's the Suzuki line, Caulfield not being able to take their man going to the net. So, but an entertaining period, you know, very entertaining. Yeah, I agree with you about that one. Yeah. Nice hip check by Petri, Zev said. Uh, Ren Basker, welcome oh, yeah. aboard. Thanks for joining us tonight. OMG, this team, not good uh, about that. This is normal, right? Like I said, they miss a lot of regular players. First of all, I'll start with the goaltender. Yeah. Jack Haven, Jack, uh, Jake Allen. Yeah, exactly. Right? Uh, I mean. You miss minimum two defensemen. Yeah. A minimum, that's three. Right? And then yeah. you have about five forward, at least th four, should not yeah. play right now. So you exactly. miss about seven players. It's normal you're not going to play hard. It's normal you're not going to perform. Right. It, it, you're right. You're not going to win. It's almost impossible so exactly uh for me i, I cannot complain them uh, make no. you know uh because they are not good enough to play at that moment so uh that, right. it's okay at the end of the day it is what it is and at the, exactly. at the end of the day we want to be sure we we you know we try to finish at the bottom of the bottom that's exactly it from here on well, in we that, have all that's better that way yeah it's, a, uh, it's, it's a, just a, another yeah. guy francois uh, cannot wait for the playoff. Too many team play either for nothing or not to get hurt. Um, yep, I agree with you. Halle Saint Martin, welcome aboard. Thanks, Ali, to join hey, us. You're welcome. Uh, would Price hang on to simply get the remaining of his contract? He said no early. Uh, he cannot, Roger. So, um, you know, what I mean, like if he's still to play, he will play, um, right. or he will be retire. So, um, you know, what I mean, like. Right now, he cannot be on the injury list again, at least another surgery, something happened to him. But uh, yeah. uh, I didn't ask you this earlier when we left. Uh, did you play junior? If yes, which team? No, I didn't play junior. Okay. Uh, it's basically, um, like Matt says, almost like an American Hockey League. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah that's exactly what, uh, yeah. Uh, Kelly is Samson off. Uh, that was classic to win the guy Lafrey before the game tonight. I have a tear on my eyes. Uh, coach uh, talking about uh, Dan Asham. Uh, he talked about tonight what happening about this. I agree with him about that for sure. Um, 
Um, we know this is the end of the week for the Montreal Canadiens. Two more games to go, Wednesday, Friday, and then it will be uh, the end of the season. Uh, one may be qualified as the worst year of the franchise Montreal Canadiens. Um, now, Laval is struggle. Uh, yeah. Are they going to make it? <laughs> I'm not sure he can make it right now. The, uh, he's supposed to win Friday night. He was ready for that. And then Saturday... And uh, did not happen about that one over there. A um, couple of teams getting better and better. The Tampa Bay Lightning right now are st stand up right now. They're winning again 5-3. Uh, right. Pittsburgh not looking good. Uh, is it like everybody right now, many teams are just check out, you believe? or? I think the top teams, for sure, uh, you know, there might be a, a, the odd team jockeying for, you know, their positioning, but... I think most of them are, are playing it cautious. Most of them are saying, we're in, let's not get anybody hurt, and they might be resting a couple of guys. Um, about that and one, you got, RG. Then uh, you got the, and then yeah. you've got, of course, the West, the lower end of the West is, is going to be battling right to the bitter end, Vegas and Dallas, I think. Uh, yeah, but uh, you cannot do that. The Hatman Montreal would not play in that league. The Montreal play in any. Uh, Montreal joue dans la ligne nationale. Uh, the Hatman, ils vont pas jouer dans un autre ligue. Ça ne leur va pas. Uh, the cap score take the lead to one. Uh, nice. Hatman, uh, tu veux un autre uh, association hockey league? And that's my point about that, Zeph. Uh, Johnny Golden, uh, will a lot of ad players stay around Montreal for the summer? No, no, I don't. I think everybody's going to take their vacation. No, it's going to be uh, a well. This key stay last season. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but condominium at Lille Uh Caulfield just buy an uh, a condominium in Montreal also. Uh, they live there. Now you have a couple of players. Johnny will stay around because the Montreal hire like uh, Nicola, uh, Adam Nicholas. So Adam he can he can be with them. So it's not like Martin St. Louis cannot be with them, but Adam right. can be with them. So you're going to have a couple of players, Johnny, will stay around and then to try to let the youngest one I'm talking about, Johnny. The rest, yeah, first of all, they will take one month break for sure and all. Uh, they're going to get out of that part. But after that, you're going to see those kids around. Uh, a few stay around for sure. Uh, one thing I know, yeah. Petri's coming. Uh, <laughs> take the first plane uh, for Saturday morning back in Detroit. <laughs> Guaranteed. You know, it's a shame because he's a, if we could only change his mind, it wouldn't be bad holding on to him if he would change his mind and want to stay, you know, because he's playing better now. And I didn't say he played for the Junior B for the Perth Blue Wings. Uh, Casta, mm -hmm. welcome aboard. Casta is a new guy in the, in the chat, by the way. Casta, thanks to be a part of the show. We have a great people here. Look like... Um, um, Look like looking good to talk about knowledge about hockey. So we appreciate your participation with the Hockey Nation Live Show. Uh, the Caps take the lead 3-1. Um, wow. And the wow. Tampa Bay take the lead 6-3. Holy smokes. What is going Ooh. on? <laughs> on power play goal, Brandon Point. Yep. He knows when to turn it on, that guy. Great player to have. Wow. <laughs> I find uh, him, Kucherov, very much like that. They seem to have a switch, and they, they seem to know when to turn it on. That's going to be a, a black eye for the, the Flair Benters because the Flair Benters win the last 13 game. And We're playing so at well. At home, yeah. again, Tampa Bay. Oof. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's what I was saying. I, I kind of figured once there was going to be a certain point where Tampa was going to start playing better hockey and just to get themselves primed, right, for the playoff, getting the right track. Uh, Castor born in Montreal. We need to hit the likes. Uh, Francois, 6-3. Je trouve que les Reds, c'est pas les meilleurs au monde. Les meilleurs games, bien d'accord avec toi, Nicolas. 16 more likes to get a 100. Who is your team? Karen, go French, go French, go French, go, go, go. Karen, thank you so much. Thanks for being a part of the show again tonight. You're welcome. About that. 
Um, like I said, it's the end of the week. Um, we have a couple of Rays. Vegas need to win tonight, right? Um, yeah. What do you feel about they Vegas? Do, they, do you think they will make the playoff or not? Uh, it's, it's really, you know, that, that game that Dallas and them play could be the decider, to tell you the truth. I think it's going to come down to the end, and uh, I don't know. It's going to be a close one. It's going to be who wants it more. I mean, Dallas worries me because they just can't seem to – those games that they should win, they don't they don't come through. You know what I mean? Yep. And so that that's where I get worried with Dallas. It's just if they could just catch their traction and stay in there until they're finished earning their spot. And I don't know. They're just leaving themselves open every time it's one more game. They, they, they leave the door open again, right? And it's they could have rare. closed it off. I'm watching the game right now. I went skin on breakaway, and uh, Cal Green tripped him, and it's rare you see Owen skin on the ice. Yeah. So I don't know what he looked like. I don't know if he returned his shoulder, but um, I don't know if people knows what happened with uh, with um, Owen skin, but uh, wow. Has he got an injury, does he? What? Does he have an injury? He got hurt. But I don't oh, know boy. if he's back on the ice because he looked like I don't know. So And you know that's that's funny because usually towards the end of the season they usually pull him out of the lineup for a few games. Which is kind of surprising he's playing right now. I see. That's a plea for the double A on a stick uh he slammed into the board over in skin. Hi Irain Vayanko. Welcome aboard. Hey, welcome. Thank you so much. Uh, thanks for joining us tonight. Erin, thank you so much. Uh, yes, yes, I'm with you. Thank you so much, uh, Karen. I um, a lot of alumni around lately, you thought. Um, yeah. Very yes. good, Johnny, about that one over there. I'm hopefully going to be close much more. So. Marissa Debord, 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 welcome aboard. Uh, Marissa, thanks to oh. be uh, us with us. Home yeah, OV is okay, Sam P. Uh, Sam P, thanks to be a part of the show. Uh, okay, about and stop by. Don't forget to click on the likes, that'd be awesome. Um, one more thing, uh, what do you expect in the third period? Oh, I'm, I'm definitely expecting, I don't expect anything to change to, it's going to be a feisty period, no doubt about it, but, you know, Boston's going to keep pouring it on. I, they seem Final to score? Have been a, final score, oh boy. Uh, yeah, I don't think we're getting another goal. So, I think Boston may get up to six. Awesome, I will see you after the game. Thanks again for your insight, Mr. Andrew, and uh, well, I will see you after... Period. It was Andrew right Lepage, on. directly from the Hockey Nation Live Show, uh, directly from Nova Scotia. He's going to be with us after the game, and it will be interesting how it's going to turn the third period for sure. Uh, and uh, I can't wait for that. Um, and that's where we're at at that moment. And I'll try to get some information here. Uh, and then we have to click here, chat here. Uh, my real name is Carter, but my sister made this account. Uh, well, welcome, Carter. Thanks to be a part of the show, Carter. We just wait. Uh, we change the third period and go from there. Anything you want to talk about? Uh, forever we love five six one uh, coach you're doing a great job thank you so much Ozzy. I kind of I cut cut from my junior team I look up uh, bowling thank you so much Karin very kind of you Karin uh, my name is Carter I make my day take out Marchand look for him always need a backup uh, wow two one sweet Karin about that. We we'll just wait for that.
Wait for the second, the third player start. We have a couple of results already. The Jet take the lead 2 1 over the Winnipeg uh, Colorado Avalanche tonight. Uh, the Capital 3 1 over in Toronto. A lot of surprise today. Lightning 6 3, Minnesota 2 1. The Ducks 2 0. Oh my God, a lot of plays, a lot of things going on. I don't, when I retire for hockey, I become professional bird watcher. Zef. The way the ball played, I just forget, gave a chance to leave it. Score Um, that's what we at at that moment. With the third pair is going to start right away. About that, um, how about the flame? Uh, looking good uh, for sure. Costa will be interesting how they're going to do this during the playoff, but uh, they're really looking great um, for them. Um, for the Tampa B is a really good plus. Uh, if I'm Florida Panthers, you have to consider this like, you know, they have a good lineup in the ice. They have to figure out what's going to happen. Uh, now, they start with Knight. They come back with Brobosky, but still, they probably want to make another statement uh, on the on, on paper because they put Vasilevsky and they play all the way. Uh, I would consider this a little bit like uh, happening like uh, Toronto 8-1. Six now, six four. Is it possible Boston showed twenty two times? Park on now, Gallagher should the park, miss the net completely. The park doing the side. Emerson should the park, black shot by the defenseman. And McEnvoy playing the park right now to Marchand. Marchand changes the direction. Marchand to red line. It's coming out for himself. Go to the blue line. Give up the park right there. Fire the park. Uh, Montebo make a save with the block, uh, with the, uh, the glove. And we have the third shot of the game for them. Montreal have. Um, Six shot. Uh, and they have ten shot at the second period. Pugging all around, around the, the Boston, intercept a rally. Rally don't be the puck all the way back in the neutral zone. Go all the way behind the net uh, and reset by the Montreal Canadiens. Sava out to uh, Ramenov. Ramenov to the blue line. Long stretch pass on the side. Uh, intercept went out by Gallagher uh, to Pitlick. Pitlick drive the puck went out to uh, Gallagher. Don't fall apart. And then the puck outside the zone there. Um, Shane Wright and Montreal sound right. Uh, ben Franklin, welcome aboard. Anderson has not been a uh, good since he got um, sent down to the second line, but now he's back on the first line. Is better. Uh, Franklin uh, just scored six four. Did you read my text? No, Danny. Uh, Montreal should take the body more. Uh, I coach my hero Gilafro left us. I'm very sad. Just knowing he's not here anymore for me, and it was invisible. Uh, Yep, Ronnie, I, I agree with you. Uh, welcome back, Ronnie. We miss you, by the way. Fully, you're doing well. Uh, <coughs> Hit the board hard, shoulder bad, Francois said. The puck go behind the net, uh, but Boston Bruins chasing it out, winning the puck uh, by the Boston. Uh, Use the board to get a puck outside the zone. Reset now, Panama 3, Canadian. All the way back to the Warak. The Warak passed the puck to the left side. Now the puck going into an offensive zone. Montreal winning the puck. and shoot the puck in the back door for Anderson. Missed the puck. Recovered by Frédéric. Frédéric uh, passed the puck to the left side. Battle right now in front of Swimmin. Intercept the blue line by uh, Iris. Iris control the puck. Pass to Legerson. Ring the puck around the board. And to go all the way back to the left side. And shoot the puck. And stop by Legerson. Legerson right now looking. Shoot the puck. Missed the net. Or block shot by 
Pilot Montois Canadian, uh, Pilot Goaltender uh, swimming and the puck go in behind it and we have a whistle at that moment. Uh, I don't think Ovi come back and Mariana but get hurt. Uh, The puck go on the right side of the swimming. Uh, when he ran out by Montreal Canadian at the blue line, backing out to uh, Lagasson, Lagasson to Iris, through the puck, uh, uh, barely stopped by one man uh, swimming, intercepting out behind the net uh, by uh, the Boston Bruins, and finally put the puck all the way back on defensive zone, chasing right now. Uh, by Lazar, Lazar in front of the Legasson, like, bring the puck to Iris. Iris killing now. Don't put the puck in the neutral zone. Love the puck all the way back uh, on defensive zone. The puck go behind the net, chasing right now uh, by um, Tyler Hall. Intercept up by Dauphin. Dauphin bring the puck around the board all the way back to the blue line. Intercept by Petri. Petri right now. Shoot the puck in front of the net and back to Petri, back to Edmondson. Shoot the puck, swim in, make a save. Receiving out by the Boston, turn around by the Montreal Canadian. At the left side of swimming, shoot the puck in front of the net, tip, swim in, make another save. And the puck go in the stand, and Boston's going to be penalized for delay by uh, McLaughlin. And that will be reset right away there for the Montreal Canadian, their fourth power play of the night. Uh, When he paid three, Colorado won. Oh, my God. Because you think Mike Basile is playing Montreal, we will have an impact like Nafla. Yes. Absolutely, Ronnie. Marchand is in Kulev. Let's set a goal. We have a power play for the Montreal Canadian. The puck winning for the Montreal Canadian pack. Hoffman fire! Mike Hoffman finally did it on power play goal. Mike Hoffman goal, power play goal. Thirteen of the season on power play goal. This goal we waste since game number one. We thought Mike Upman would do this twenty times this season, but he did not do a lot. But what a shot! What a shot of the Mike Upman about that uh, match of uh, Nicola Alexandre Frank Lavoie. Uh, the puck going on the left side behind the net of Ola. Uh, behind Montembeau, the puck turn around right there, bring around, keep the puck for himself. The puck go all the way to the blue line. Uh, Boston keep continuing attacking on the blue lines, coming to the right side. Montembeau make a save. The puck go over behind, and then a goal by Carfield. Carfield is killing with the puck right now. Don't put the puck in front of Taylor Hall. The puck go to Riley. Riley right now, skate behind Swimmin. Uh, Swimmin, and then pass the puck to Carlo. Carlo contre the puck right now, use the board, pass the puck, all in the zone by Taylor Hall, still by Petlick, back the puck right now, by the Montreal, but finally, the puck turn around, by the Boston Bone, kick out the puck to the blue line, no zip, bring the puck behind the net, chase him right now, by Taylor Hall, in front of Sava, and now the puck turn around, by the Montreal Canadian, finally turn in the corner, and Montreal try to get the puck outside the zone, and the puck go to the blue line, at the red line, Ramanov's coming, 
and lose the puck in the neutral zone. Recovery went up on the Montreal Pitlick. Pitlick passed the puck to Savard. Savard's coming, don't be the puck. Just see by the Montreal Canadian. And for the Gallagher, Gallagher is just watching. Carlo go D to D. They're going to reset Boston and the neutral zone. They are coming to the red line. Now on offensive zone, pass to Shadow Car. Choice coming around the back door. Metan will make a save. A great play right there. Savard got beat on that one. The puck is now behind the net. Savard battle with. Uh, Craig Smith, finally the puck over the set for Gallagher. Gallagher to the pit lick. Montreal don't pay the puck right there. Hit by uh, Carlo, I believe, at the blue line, at the red line. And turn around right there. And Montreal try to get a puck outside. Uh, intercept by Frederic. Uh, great play by now by Pit Lick. Uh, pit Lick coming to the blue line, to the red line. Then offense is on. Pit Lick stop. Fire the puck. Uh, hit the stick of the defenseman of the Boston. Go all the way back on the net. Uh, and we'll go to reset at the right side of the Swimming, Jeremy Swimming. Uh, Kelly 3-2, Petrie content. On s'approche de la fin, mon Luc. Oh yes, the Hawks, on pay full to watch. Here we go. Waiting right now for the face-off. Lazar face to the Varak. At least to the score. Oh, Blackhawks, the puck winning by Devorek, Legasson to Iris. Iris set up. Iris shoot the puck to run the board. And René Manel pinching by Legasson. And the puck stop at Lulain, recovered by the Montreal Canadian Anderson, drawn the puck behind the net. Uh, it's going to be uh, Devorek, I believe, or uh, it was uh, Pitlick, possible, bringing the puck to Lulain to Legasson. Legasson draw the puck right there. Back again, Lagasson shoot the puck, uh, missed the net barely. The puck turned around by Jelly Coy in front of Iris. Don't be the puck, intercepted out by the Montreal Canadian, a great stick right there. The puck turned around, and finally Boston get out of the zone. They are coming in, three versus two. Lazar and out, bring the puck, kick out to McLeod. And uh, McLeod in uh, down the round behind the net. Lazar try to get the puck, and finally Montreal get the puck outside the zone. And uh, turn around right there by Devorek, and they go back to Iris. Iris back to Lagasson. With uh, 13 35 to go remaining on the third period, uh, who are we staying playing? And when that's just going to cap the score, the Jets are scoring at most the same time. It's strange. Uh, the puck to the round right there, go DD. They're seven up by the Boston Bronx. It's seven up by Marchand. Marchand draws the puck behind uh, to the brass. The brass on the back door to Marchand. Marchand try to get a puck. Uh, Marchand turn around, uh, by the puck to Bergeron to the brass behind the net. And battle right now in the corner by Joel Emerson, round the puck by Jeff Petri. Petri right now recovered the puck, pass the puck in neutral zone, intercept by Carlo. Natambo make a save, Petri recovered the puck, bring the puck to neutral zone, and go all the way back on that side over there. And now Altman change the direction, Altman keep the puck, back again to uh, Dauphin possible. And the puck stop right there at the blue line. We have under the hit on the left side, and Montreal don't pick the puck on the right outside of swimming recovery right now by uh, Carlo. Now battle for the puck right now. Try to get a puck on the left side. Montreal shoot the puck in the but Nick Suzuki score! Nick Suzuki goal! Twenty one of the season. Uh, cut the lead from two to one. Uh, and now the puck go around by Boston at the blue line. Intercept by Frederic. Frederic will now run the puck around the board. And now shoot the puck. Montembo make a save. Rebound. Montreal recovery the puck. And he go to back at the blue line. Long stretch pass by Hoffman. Intercept by the Boston Bone. Bring the puck in defensive zone. Montreal. Rest up by Savard. Savard went out. Pass the puck in the zone. Tip by Gallagher. And chasing went out. And the Boston's going to get another bad play by who? By the number 11. Wow, and we are closer of this uh, 37 uh, shot for the Boston Bruins. Uh, that's what we had at that moment. Uh. Yep, 
Theodore goes ahead. They shoot a score. The puck now in the corner. Carfield trying to get a puck. Intercepted out the blue line by Romanov. Romanov the red line drop to Savard. Savard defense his own. Long stretch pass now to left side. Jake Evans now is coming to right side. Is uh, Gallagher shoot a puck? Swim in, make a save. No rebound. And we have a pushing right there. And they have got right away by Garlo uh, pushing Gallagher right away. And nobody else uh, pushing anybody. And that's it. Uh, uh, one more for the hockey. Yep, I agree with you about that one over there. Not us talking about tomorrow. What game are we watching? I'm watching the leave, uh, Kelly. Said, uh, coach, a uh, request for the only game tomorrow for Nick. Uh, yeah, plus the, tomorrow I may be an engagement, Danny. So that's why I cannot maybe not do game tomorrow. That's the reason why I cannot start. Uh, goal, abs goal, love, bossy flower, said. Go, bronze, go, Nicola. Not a problem, Danny. Take my shot out. And we have a TV timeout, by the way. Are you talking about the game tonight, Blackhawks? Uh, that's what we try to get uh, our right and now to try to do, talk about this. Uh, do a power play, but we're not sure about that. I don't have a lot of respect for my chance, so I did the same way. Uh, the game is on Uli tomorrow night. I hate that it's on Uli Blackhawks. Uh. You can always watching hockey on the sport RFP dot com. Um, Blackhawk is free, so any game you want to watch, you go to the website called sport RFP dot com, and you can watch any game in live stream, any sport. The puck winning right now by the Montreal Canadiens, and uh, love being by now by Boston. Boston come here, three versus two. Now it's a uh, left side shoot the puck. Montembo make a save, no rebound. And we're going to restart on the right side of Montembo. A uh, great stop by the Montreal uh, Montembo at that moment. Uh, you're welcome. Sweet. Go behind the net. Montreal try to get a puck around. Get a puck all the way back. And then left side over there. But if you think about this, uh, Blackhawks, for $69.99 from ESPN Plus, uh, you know, that's give you about, what, $7 per month. Uh, you get all the sport plus ESPN game, every game in NHL uh, right there. It's really the best, de the best deal for anybody leave in USC is really ESPN plus. The puck goes outside the zone by Montreal Canadian Racer right there. Emerson back up the puck right away by Jake Evans. Uh, keep the part of the blue line, try to get a puck around Pitlick and Evans. Uh, back to Pitlick. Pitlick is coming to right side. Shoot the puck. Oh, 
Here's how much hit the post on that light side over there. Great person right now. Havens bring part to Petway. Fire the park right there. Havens make a swimming, make a save. Allinson cannot play the rebound about that. Recovery by Carlo. Carlo rim the puck around the board. And now the Toronto uh, the Boston's coming. Brett Marchand's coming in the corner. Marchand right there in front of Emerson. A uh, battle for the puck. Still Panamatoa Canadian attacking back again. Three versus three. Don't pay the puck right now. Panamatoa Canadian behind swimming. First one is get us. Uh, oh, we have an offside of the line uh, from the ref. Uh, for the linesman, uh, I'm going to recall right away, right there. 38-23 for the Montreal Canadian. 3-3 uh, three, three to Spencer. Lana is back. Uh, Stephen, uh, j'ai trouvé une version un peu trop longue, Nicolas. Uh, like called by the ref. Look, uh, Canada will be bringing a whole thanks go about that. Uh, RJ 7-4, wow. Welcome back, Sylvain. Uh, thanks for being a part of the show. That Toronto tied the game. 3-3, Jake said. Wow. Nashville take the lead, 3-2. Go Avs, go Michel. Face on the third zone, the battle right now, but I'm on the And Carlo passed the puck, did the Boston attacking around the neutral zone, jumping the puck, recovery by Ola, ring the puck, Mantebo make us uh, uh, intercept the puck behind the net, back to Saval. Saval went out, tip on the Montreal Canadian, all the way back on defensive zone, another whistle, uh, disorganized, uh, and the Nashville take the lead 3 2 over the Minnesota guys. Um, and that's what we had, excuse my coaches, and I went to Troyes. Pas de problème. Federico went out with Roman to ski, ski, lose the puck, the puck go outside the zone, don't pay the puck by the Toronto, uh, by the Boston Bruins, and they're going to reset on the defensive zone. Uh, now pass the puck, and the, now Smith's coming next between two defensemen right there. Great recovery by Emerson for the Smith. Uh, puck going to the corner. Uh, Boston try to get a puck, recovery went out by Hoffman, ran the puck around the board, and they go all the way back to Petri. Petri now battle with the puck right there, reset in front of the net. Uh, puck turned around by Z Nick Zuski. Zuski went out behind the net, back to uh, Romanov. Romanov went out, changed the direction. Romanov back to Zuski. Zuski skating with the puck, drive it back to Romanov. And uh, behind the goal line, nine minutes remaining on the third period. That's what we had at that moment. And uh, Proboski gave another goal, by the way. And uh, Tampa Bay all over of the Florida Panthers. Maybe they should sing, we won 10 at the Panthers game. We won 10. The puck turned around and out by... Uh, by the Tampa Bay, uh, by the Boston, they are coming out at two versus one on the back door. Should the puck, Montembeau make a save with a glove and no rebound. And we're going to reset at 8.38 to go. How about that? Uh, I bet the Panthers fan have a long, long night tonight. 4-1, uh, Winnipeg over Canada. No, no way, we're about to make a comeback. Uh, Igor Aldadav, welcome back. Uh, no. Uh, uh, um, no, I did not. I don't know why. I have two of them, uh, I think. I did not complete. That's why I did not put this there uh, in uh, Nicola. Uh, Mark and Pepper, go, bronze, go. Uh, 8.5 for eight, uh, eight year. I don't know who. Uh, about that, uh, 10 for number 10 uh, for him at the other, the quad look. Uh, I'll come back, but I don't know if they are going to come back at all.
Um. I did not hear coming from you. Go abs go. Do you forget me, coach? Abs go. Go abs go. And they are on the right track. At least can I read a pass? Uh, boo abs uh, Tammy. Uh, Alexander passed seven, eight point eight year. Alexander, my yeah. Now the problem, Karen. Go abs, go Matt. Uh, oh yeah, oh, we have this one with it. That's why I see that. Park right now, Palma Trail can is in a little bit over eight minutes to go remaining. The park turn around by swimming, run the park around the board, and the park go outside the zone, all the way back by Emerson, use the board. And have a lot of players, white jersey and the net uh, in front of the bench, but no call for the ref. Uh, and and, temp, and uh, Flair the Flair Panthers, we won eight. Uh, uh, we won ten, uh, I'm sorry. And the park turn around and uh, they go all the way back up by the Montreal, by the Montreal and the neutral zone. Uh, Gallagher lose the puck. Uh, recovery, Gallagher looking bound. Putting the puck behind the net uh, by Romanov. Le Romanov lose, uh, lose uh, the puck. And Tom putting the puck behind swimming. Uh, the puck turned around right there by the Montreal Canadian in front of the net. Fire! Great. I don't know if uh, Gallagher could touch the puck, but it was great. Uh, great attempt for the Montreal Canadian. The puck go by Pitlick. Pitlick bring the puck in front of the net. Uh, Gallagher recover the puck. Gallagher control the puck behind the net. Uh, shoot the puck. Uh, and recovery puck behind. Uh, battle right now with Pit Lake. Rim the puck around the board. Pinch by Romanov. A little bit too late. The puck go all the way back uh, uh, to um, Savar. Savar right now control the puck. Savar keep the puck for himself. Waiting for new plus coming. A little bit over seven minutes to go. Pass the puck to the side. Pass the puck in the neutral zone. Back to Coffee. Coffee's coming now. Fire the puck. Uh, uh, barely miss a uh, swim in. Turn around by Hoffman. Back to Caulfield. Caulfield's coming up at the blue line. Caulfield passed the puck, went out to the left side. Shooting for the net, missed the net completely. Passed the puck by uh, Legerson. Bring the puck behind to Hoffman. Leave the puck to Iris. Iris back to Hoffman. Keep the puck right there. Chasing for Iris. Iris in the corner. Bring the puck right out to Caulfield. Caulfield trying to get a puck with Iris. Battle right now. The puck go in the corner by Caulfield. We have also um, Hoffman. Back to the blue line. Shoot the puck by Iris. Missed the net. Uh, Oh, he missed the shoot, the puck, on the say, Hoffman try to get a puck outside the zone. A little bit too far for Legasson. Legasson right now will recover the puck in front of Montebo. Bring the puck in front of Iris. Iris getting with puck. Use the board right there. 6.15 to go. Turn around right now by Anderson. Anderson to Legasson. Legasson to Uziski. Coming to the corner. Chasing the puck right now in front of Federic, I believe. Or Smith or Coy. I don't know the number, honestly. It's Clifton. Back to the point for the net. Shoot it, puck. Uh, swim and make a save. Rosiski missed the rebound. The puck turned outside the zone. The recovery by Emmons. Um, I think it was Emmonson. Back to Iris. Iris back to Emmonson. And we have 5.53 to go remaining on the on the play to go. The puck turned around and up. And the Montreal is in. Long stretch pass. Tom paid by the puck by the Montreal. And chasing it out by the Boston. Boston passed the puck for Lino. And on side to uh, Lazar, Matumbo make a save, the puck go behind the net, uh, recover, uh, recover by the Montreal Canadian, Montreal get out of the zone, pass the puck in the neutral zone, pass again the pit lake, pit lake control the puck, drive the puck behind, of the Petri try to get a puck, Petri control the puck, right now change the projection, shoot the puck, black shot by the Boston, the puck go to the other side, chasing an out by Anderson, shoot the puck, miss swimming completely, the puck turn around by the Montreal Canadian, finally Boston find a way to get a puck, they are coming in the trans zone, dumping the puck on the left side of Montembeau. Coming up first one to get there in front of Folino. And he Patrick the puck back the puck to Savar. Oh, Petri. Petri passes the puck all the way back. Don't pick by Gallagher. Gallagher try to get a puck in front of the left to Petlick. And now Gallagher is looking for the puck. Missed the puck right there. And Tom P went up on the Montreal Canadian. Finally, Boston lose the puck, turn around right there, and they control the puck on the neutral zone. Don't pin the puck behind the defenseman. First one to get there is Romanov. Less five minutes to go remaining on the third period. Romanov passed the puck right there to Savar. Savar control the puck. Long stretch pass, neutral zone. Montreal is coming with speed. Jake Evans. Evans turn change the direction. Evans to the blue line. Back to Savar. Savar back to Romanov. Romanov right now. Shoot point in front of the swimming. Stop block shot by the defenseman Boston. Now the coming to the red line. The press keep the 
park right there. They press control the park, control to get around. Montebo make a save. We have a whistle. A 419 to go remaining on the third period. That's what we had at that moment. 4-3 Boston. A 40 shot for the Boston Bruins. And we go. Don't forget to click on the likes. Uh, good job, Nat. Um, Tampa is just whooping eight to four. Not too bad. Yes, possible. Here we go. We have to wait for another puck to come back on the ice. Go abs, go Ari. Uh, the puck was behind the net. Uh, Boston should the puck. Montebo make a save. And uh, no rebound. The puck turned around the net of the Montebo. Finally, Ramenev recovered the puck. Uh, uh, we have a shot again for Boston. The ball back again in front of Boston. Recovery. They go deep, 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 deep. Don't be in the park all the way back to uh, Edmondson to Ramanov. Ramanov don't be in the park. Right now, hit by McEnroy in front of Hoffman. And turn around by Gressley. Intercept by Montreal Canadian. The ski behind in the corner. Receiving now by the left side. Uh, all the way back to the uh, Montreal control. Really the power. Hoffman should have parked. Missed the net. Missed the puck all the way back, back again to Montreal. Tip of the puck in front of, of the swimmer. Chasing went out by McEnvoy and uh, uh, Caulfield through the puck. He missed the net again. Caulfield uh, again did not pass. I don't know what happened in Caulfield and Zuzki. One goal, come on, go abs, go about that. Um, every time the Panthers made a big push, the Empire just stay calm and keep control there. Experience about that. Go abs, go for the flower. Anderson should have parked. Black shot back to Anderson. Anderson back to the blue line. Pit three now the back door. Fire! The rebound in front of the net. Uh, no chance right there. It was a great play by the Montreal. But go behind the net. Anderson control the park. Chasing down now by Boston. Boston Gallo right now. Ran the park. DDD back uh, to full board. Over pass the puck to uh, Smith, uh, Charlie Cohen, recovery for the Montreal Canadiens. They were pass the puck to Anderson. The puck turned around by the Boston Bruins. Uh, don't pin the puck right away to Emerson. Uh, less three minutes to go for the game. Uh, Emerson lobbing the puck away back uh, to Anderson. Control the puck right now. Anderson lose the puck. Another bad play by Josh, but uh, recovery for the Boston Bruins. Finally, the puck go back to Romanov. Again on the ice, Romanov with Saval. Saval right now control the puck. Saval. Keep control the park, pass again to Evans. Evans change the direction, Evans control the park in the third zone. Evans lump in the park, chase him now. Bad play by Jake Evans. Uh, I have no clue what he was trying to do right there. Um.
Denis Cocoa Isaac euh, à bloc 1 nord. They need the flower power and the spirit. Uh, I agree with you about that. Winning on the right side of uh, the left side of the Montreal Canadian. Winning puck, we're going to have right now in front of Lazar. And turn around right there for the Montreal Canadian. Lob the puck over the defenseman. Try a little bit, kick a puck, get a go. Turn around right there. Uh, then we have a whistle on the right side of the swimmer. We're going to start right away, right at the right of swimmer. 200W uh, for the goaltender, Connor at the back tonight. 3-3, uh, uh, three, three, come on up, keep looking. Uh, no goal, Ushi. Uh, Monty out, uh, look, uh, no goaltender at that moment. <laughs> Face up on the right side of the swimmer. Go Boston, uh, trop tôt pour sortir mon tempo. No, the puck is not offensive zone, uh, Nicola. The Varek, uh, controlled right now by Boston, uh, recovered by Fober, rim the puck around the board. Chase right now by the Montreal Canadian in the corner. Petley tried to inner side. Ski now again, pinch right now by uh, Petri, a little bit too far. Boston Marchand right now pass the puck to the sides, coming to red line, shoot the puck uh, over. And we have an icing at that moment. We're going to restart with two minutes to go. Pour le goalie plus vite que toi, look. Uh, uh, three, three, uh, RJ, two, two, St. Louis Blues. Go, abs, go. Leave go, Danny said. Go, Boston, leave uh, for this to go. The puck went out, went out, and winning by that. Uh, Boston Brown recovered by his ski, ran the puck around to Hoffman. Hoffman's coming to the blue line, dumping the puck in the neutral zone. Puck chasing went out by Carfield. Carfield recovered the puck in the corner. Carfield ran the puck behind the net. They're chasing went out by uh, Hoffman and Carfield. Hoffman tried to get the puck. Uh, Petley joined the party right there. The puck turned around by the Marchand. Marchand lobbed the puck all the way back on the defensive zone with 130 minutes to go. 130 to go remaining. Petley went out. Contre le puck, that's the puck to the right side. Recovered by the ski, a little bit too far for him in. Recovered by Marchand. Marchand draw the puck to the defenseman. Baston contre le puck right now with uh, 80 seconds to go. Petru right now contre le puck. Petru in front of Montembeau, in front of Debraska. Petru changing. Why we don't keep up the goaltender out? Uh, but Petru is coming now at the blue line. Petru draw the key, the puck for himself. Petru is killing all the way back over there. Lose the puck. Uh, recovered by the Boston Bruins. Use the board. And the puck go in front again. Petru. Petru right there. Contre le puck, 60 seconds to go remaining on the game. Turn around par le Montreal Canadien, skating with the puck. They are coming on defensive zone. Now, the, don't pin the puck all the way back behind the swimming. Leave the puck all the way back to the other side. Pre pressure par le Montreal Canadien in the corner. Boston try to get the puck out. Intercept par le Montreal Canadien is a Gallagher, I believe, running the puck behind the net. Pit league, great play by Pit league again now. Pit league, run the puck around the board. Back to Gallagher, leave the puck all the way to the board. All the way back to the left side, right there. Control the puck on the ash mark. Uh, is back to behind the net. Back to uh, the shoot the puck. Rebound, swimming. And we have a pushing right away, right there. And we have a whistle with 26 seconds to go. Go, abs, go, Nicola. Uh, one minute, last minute, OMG. For some Z, look, uh, is GD not playing uh, Kelly? I got you back, guys. Uh, whoa, whoa, Boston. Uh, and then, uh, whoa, whoa, Boston. There you go. Come on, leave uh, Black Ox. The Minnesota tidy game 3-3. Three, three. Uh, okay, not I go on eat. Uh, we have to wait right now. We have a TV time uh, a timeout. Come on, coach.
not bad, Johnny. Um, you know, he does a good job overall. Makes some mistake, of course, but uh, I like his game overall for me. Uh, I'm not sure. I, I'm, I know he will be an American Hockey League player next year, but uh, we have to give credit. Montreal win the face off, and now recovered by Petri. We use the ball behind the net. Uh, control the block, bring to Petri. Petri shoot the puck and find a black shot, rebound behind the net. Hoffman bring the puck to the uh, Bet Lake. Bet Lake turn around, and Boston going to get the puck to the side. Uh, our coming right there is uh, Bergeron. Bergeron shoot the puck and shut down the game. Uh, and that's the, going to be the end of the game. Uh, an empty net by the Boston Bruins tonight. Uh, and they beat the Montreal Canadiens by a score of 5-3. to three. Uh, Nine defeat. Yeah, that's perfectly the good uh, about that one over there. Uh, Toronto uh, went uh, perdu look uh, for 3-4-3. Three, three. And the Boston win uh, tonight uh, by a score of 5-3 over the Montreal Canadiens. Uh, you win some, you lose some. Uh, yep, it is like that. Uh, yeah, go, leave, go. Jose Duarte. And this is the end of the game. <laughs> and for the ninth straight game, the Montreal Canadiens lost another game. Uh, they gave for a uh, 36 time this season, a uh, four goal, a plus. Uh, uh, it lost by a score 5 3 against the Boston Bruins during the night. The ceremony of Gila Fleur, not good enough to get that W. And like I said, this is going to be the one of the worst, but well, this is the worst season and the history of the Montreal Canadian. Never this happening to the Montreal Canadian. And um, it's a shame, but uh, it looked like it is like that. Uh, so we're going to. Uh, Two more games. That's the beauty about that one over there. And um, that's where we're at. Uh, nice setting gate on the ice with the go-girl foot. Michel Gulletzi. Macrezi, the 21st. Moi, okay. Il n'y a pas d'autre facile. Il n'y aura pas de facile, Alexandre. No. It's okay, because you guys are not the only one losing. Uh, yep. I agree with you about that. Uh, but. Um, a bit sad to see them rushing to lose. Uh, you know, it, the effort is there, but it just cannot compete. Alexandre, il n'y aura pas de uh, facile. Je ne sais pas qu'il y use Nicolas. C'est tout à cause de Mac Bergevin. <laughs> c'est drôle à dire, Nicolas. Toi, tu plains Jean, uh, Ken Hughes. Ce n'est pas lui, c'est Mac Bergevin. Mac Bergevin a mis l'équipe en péril avec les gros contrats. Petrie, Gallagher... Carey Price, uh, not Carey Price, um, uh, Anderson, uh, you know, like, he he not pris des bons choix de repêchage. He pris Kakonemi au lieu de Kachuk. He vient donner 8 millions à Zuzuki. Uh, c'est c'est pas l'équipe que tu as là présentement, c'est l'équipe à Marc Bergevin. C'est pas l'équipe à Ken Hughes. Arrêtez de blâmer Ken Hughes, c'est Marc Bergevin. Le, les, les joueurs que vous voyez, c'est l'équipe que Marc Bergevin a construite depuis trois ans. OK? C'est pas Ken Hughes, c'est pas Martin Saint-Louis, là. C'est vraiment Marc Bergevin. C'est pour ça qu'il a perdu sa job. Avec ses mauvais choix de, de joueurs d'évaluation, avec ses mauvais choix de repêcher avec Trevor Timmons. C'est la raison. On a présentement des, bons, des bonnes personnes dans l'entourage des Canadiens. Des, Jack, des Ken Hughes, des Jeff Gordon, des, Mar des Chantal McCabe. Laissez-les voir pendant cinq ans ce qu'ils vont faire avant de blâmer quelqu'un. Arrêtez-moi ça, là. cest vraiment décourageant d'entendre des gens parler comme ça? Voyons donc, Ken Hughes, il est là depuis cinq mois. Uh, Andrew Lepage, welcome back. Tell us what you think about this. I actually enjoyed that period. I thought it was a well heard fought period. They they worked hard, came pretty darn close, made it a game anyway. No, I really uh, I enjoyed it actually. It was a very good effort for a change. Entertaining. Yeah. Um, you know, they're hanging there. Yeah. Uh, 
Um, they, 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 they stay around, right? They cannot put the four, uh, four one. They come back, but not good enough to tie the game. Unfortunately, um, close. Though. Yeah, you know. Yeah, you know, for what it was, and I gotta say, you know, for Mont and Bo, I mean, yeah, okay, he wasn't outstanding, but uh, he looked better than Price has looked the last two or two games. You know, yeah. So, not a bad game. And Petrie's been playing some good hockey tonight as well as the last few games, last week or so, you know. And Hoffman had a pretty strong game. Petrie is looking better and better for the last seven, eight game. Uh, he, yeah, he, he, he skated better, controlled more. Uh, you know, it's like he's found his groove. Sometimes make mistakes like everybody, right? But the Petrie yeah. you see now is so much better than what he was in the past. I agree. I agree. It's game change. It's almost like he found his groove there seven or eight games ago. He just, it seemed to snap and you seem to change in him. Good effort. He's, exactly. When he's trying, he can be all right, you know. Come on, walk, come on, uh, we'll see what is going to happen now for the next two games, of course. Uh, you know, um, it, it, it's that, you know, it, it's Boston did enough to win that W for sure. Uh, they had to work for it, though. <laughs> Exactly. They had, yeah, they had to work for that one, for sure. Uh, which was nice you know, I mean, like he, um, it's just like Mike Hoffman was not a bad game. Of course, he get this one, no. but the goal he did is exactly what we're looking for for all year. That's long. what we've been looking for. Exactly a bullet. I mean, the, Swayman had no chance on that. That was just a bullet. Beautiful, beautifully placed, and I mean, Petrie put that right perfectly in the wheelhouse. Yeah. Couldn't you got a better pass? I agree with you about that one over there. Uh, was almost over, to guys. Two more game. It's almost over, guys. Two more game to go. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, Montembeau played better. Caprice just tonight. Thirty-eight seconds from the first shot. Uh, uh, you have a good game, honestly, tonight. Yeah. He you played. Know. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, overall, he did good. Harry, have a good night about that. Uh, night. Yeah, um, I was happy with his game. You know, he 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 played. Like I said, I think we would have been in bigger trouble with Pricey. I hate to say it. Yep. Uh, Kelly said Andrews the lead one and no shootout, and Ovechkin got hurt. Wow, wow. Well, Ovechkin hurt. Oh, that's huge. I wonder how severe it is. Wow. Allen said I, Petri have two assists tonight. Yeah. Great game. He had a great game. He really played well. And you know what? I, I even enjoyed Savard's game. He was really putting the body on out there, and he, he did a great job. Uh, we all did Prim. Welcome aboard. Uh, Roger well, uh, Bouchard, all that work finished last can be running part of the lottery. All that work to finish last can all be run part of the lottery. Uh, not really, uh, Roger. Uh, they go to be pick up number f uh, one, two, three, and four. Um, so they're going to get a good pick overall, Roger. Um, yeah. Uh, again, we need it. We just the wrong year. That's pretty much what yeah. I can tell you. Yeah. I mean, you look at it. The injuries really killed us. A lot of leadership was gone from that team. This team didn't have a chance from the start of the year, you know? So, I mean, with the amount of injuries and different things going on, it wasn't going to be a good year. Uh, yep, I agree with you about this, Karen. Uh, it got tripped into the board, his shoulder. Uh, what's Price in the building oh. tonight? That's a good question. I don't know. I uh, know, clear, I know. No, I'm not sure. Uh, Luke said, best game of P3 this season. Yeah, I agree. I totally agree. Good night, very, Ari. Very well done. He timed um, his hits well. He, he was playing every, you know, all the way. His whole game was a lot more on, you know, in all all parts of the arena. Uh, yeah, but we are sure to pick first four is great, Francois said. Yeah. We have a winning team in the playoff only last year. The rest were missing the playoff three out of the four years. And he called it déjà uh, génial. Francois, we have been next season. Uh, Michel Cloutier, how many years the Leafs did not make the playoff before Manor arrive? How many years the Leafs did not make the playoff uh, before? Um, 
before Marner arrived? I don't know personally. I'm not. I don't know that one. That's a good, good question. Very good question. Make the playoff, not like, um, not like. Um, Three years. Right so they made the playoff in 20, 2012 at 13. Mm -hmm. Prior to that, eight years. One, two, wow. three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. Eight wow. years, eight years, one year in, three years out, and since that five times straight. Yeah. Yeah. And that just shows you, I mean, you look at the poor Leafs, I, I, you know, we all, you and I would remember the Ballard years. That was a real rough period of time for them. You know, they, they got, they struggled and they always managed to at least put up a half decent effort, you know, for a team that he would put no money into, you know. Which manner reached 100 point? Did he was at 96 before the game. Did he have any points tonight? I don't know, but I think he was at 96. He should get 100 points. He should. 93. It was 96 before the game. I don't know what he got tonight. Yeah, I think he will get 100 points. Uh, bon, bon Toronto, Don Florida, they look ready to me. Real thing about the Tampa Bay. Uh, crossing fingers, Kelly. Uh, no other team. Uh, Keith Rowley, welcome aboard. Keith, thank you so much. Welcome, Very kind Keith. of you to join the subscriber of Kennedy Show. Sure. Uh, no other team will want to trade for price in the off season. That would be very really interesting. Right. Follow up about that. Yeah, I know that. I'm pretty well pissed off. Uh, Karen, <laughs> only thing they should have about the was his slot is pipe. Uh, the ball will crash and uh, will crash the leap and four, maybe in five. I have the same opinion. I think Tampa, like I say, you're starting to see who they are. Yeah, I mean, I, I figured they were holding back a bit and, uh, that just the way they come together in playoffs. I'm sorry to say if if the Leafs go up against them, I just don't think the Leafs will do fair well. I think they would have had a better shot with Boston. Yeah. Uh, Karen Bajon can build a world team for the last year to play out. They will have where they are built for the playoff, but Amo did not make it. It's called more uh, you for sure. Not anymore. Look, if you're not thinking of his model stick. Uh, um, the app will have to write out the next four years and get more high drive pick. Uh, yeah. Well, they're going to have to at least, at least for two years, at least. But even like two years after, you'll still get half decent drafts each of those two years as well. Just got to make them count. Matt said that I'm bloody excited for the Calgary Flames uh, for that one over there for sure. Um, you know. Yeah. Wow. It's eight, nice three, to four, see them. Three. The wild 4 3 over Predator. The Blues are back 4 2 now. Oh, the wild, okay. While they're beating the Predators? I don't or know what you look them? like, but my uh, prediction is so bad today. I think I've. Yeah, I'm sure mine is too, because I think I picked the Predators. <laughs> it's not I, looking I, good. I, you know, I took Washington, I took New Jersey. I took, oh, I didn't take Washington. I took Pittsburgh. Uh, I? I took Edmonton. Um, yeah, I took Edmonton. I, I go all the big name, and uh, right now I'm not looking good. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. Nuit, Nat, uh, thank you hey, so Nat. much. Uh, Nat, it was great having you aboard tonight and join us and talking with everybody. Nat, we love you. Have a good night, Nat. Danny, our friend one. now, Tempo, we support the Toronto and leave. I'll get the Tempo out too much. Uh, Watch out for the Kings and the Kings. Uh, at White, I don't know if you know, but they don't have no goaltender right now, the early Kings. So hopefully they will get one or two of them. But right now, Anderson is out and Renta it was out? out today. Wow. That could play a huge, huge <laughs> devastation yeah. to them. Yeah, definitely. That's um, scary. I'm going to keep Carey Price, uh, Corinne. We'll see how you're going to respond after what happening for the last couple of week, uh, days. Uh, yeah. Is Charlotte top four defense for the Panthers? 
Shara? Yeah. I think so, yeah. Yeah, I would say he's top four. I saw Renault, no. You have Aaron Eggblad, Mackenzie Wegar, Gustav Fossling. It's because he's not a right defenseman, so he's become the third yeah. one over there. So you have Moto and Kudas on the right side. That actually might suit him better, to tell you the truth. So, might suit him better. So that's what happened about that. Uh, but he'll, he's got the experience that if they need him to crank it up in the playoffs, yeah, yeah, he yeah, will. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The defense is pretty good. Yeah. I don't think that's going to be an issue this time around. Yeah. Um, I have a good one. That time, we'll see. Look, I got everybody to talk about that. Uh, okay, La Moustache. I'm tired to suffering. We don't win for a guy. No victory. Send the return of the price. Uh, uh, okay. Did not know that. Watch out for the quick and playoff. Uh, I don't say they will be out to win, but they have to fit. You know what I mean? Like, they don't have Anderson. They, they are in the trouble. Um, oh, yeah. I, I know huge. Vanto is not like Anderson, first of all. So no. uh, that would be the thing there. Now, the Kings, I don't think so, King. They're still missing a couple of pieces of the puzzle with no Doddy. Uh, but yeah. uh, you, they're going to give a good run for whatever they play uh, during the playoff. Oh, yeah. So, It'll be respectable. Um, It'll be respectable. Um, uh, bet out three goal. Uh, look, if I said said that Connor bet out the Canada beat the Germany today. Nice eight three. Nice. Wow. Or nine wow. Three. I don't know. Look, do you know the final score? Uh, I'm on, I'm from a bank uh, bank Brook, Ontario. Moved to Kentucky in 2001. Alan uh, Ovi would be back. No worries. Look, uh, uh, five five three. Uh, if I don't dual citizen now, Adam, 8 3. Here we go. And they wow. play um, Tuesday at 9 o'clock. Look, we're going to follow the, the game for sure. But well, not live, but uh, about that. Yeah. But at least that's their last back to back. You're welcome, so. Dwin. Um, Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Um, I was thinking about the. I, I was, before I asked you this question, I was looking about the score uh, today. Golden Knight, the Sharks. Yeah, no tomorrow for them for the Sharks, uh, for the Golden Knights. No, well, they have to win everything now. They have to win everything. But uh, I honestly do think you can, you're going to get a better pitcher after that game with Dallas. From they, RJ, they, you know. he said Alex, Alex Ovenskin game with other body injury tonight. Yeah. Let's hope he's uh, not too serious because that's they're gonna ride on him. They without him they that takes a lot of their chances away. I agree with you about that one over there. Yeah. Uh, the blues are back. The wall um I was watching the, the game the wall uh, the Vegas, but now I'm going to go to the wall. Is the Vegas game on now, or is it? Yeah. Anybody score yet? Uh, what do you do with Pesetta next year? pesetta has got to go back to Laval. Let's be real. I mean, yeah. I, I like the fact that he's got heart. I give him that. But there's too many guys that are better players, like Dolphins, a better player. Uh, Yolonen's a way better player. You know, those guys need to be up there first, no doubt. He's not at that caliber. Absolutely, I agree with you about that one. Look, said uh, Adam Fantilli. I look good. Sorry for spelling. Look, no. Uh, you have Beral, Mitch Cobb, and Fantilli next season. Look, Tripler is a franchise player's team. That's how they wow. are. Wow. And um, Fantilli play in USHL, and Fantilli is going to be a great hockey player. Uh, what position did he play, coach? I'm sorry? What, what position does Fantelli, because I've never heard of Fantelli, what position does Fantelli, he play? Fantelli is a, yeah. I would tell you exactly, I just want to be sure that what side he plays, so let me check. Um, there is Fan. Look him up. Uh, Adam is a 2004, by the way. But I just want to be sure he gave them, a, he gave him a center also. So I want to be okay. sure he was, uh, honestly, about that one there. 
He's six three at seventeen years old and one ninety three. Nice. nice. That's a nice right. size. So this season with Chicago still and USHL, right? He has seventy four wow. point and fifty four. He had thirty seven yeah. goals this season over there. He had nice. a season like Coronado and also like Farrell. Yeah. Right? And yeah. then uh, he play, he's going already a scholarship with who? Of course, the Michigan World War win and next wow. and 22 23. So um, it's going to be really great for him for sure. That About wouldn't that. be a bad yeah. choice from the sounds of it. And the U.S. program is always a solid program. That's one thing I can say for years. I mean, they've, they've had great players come under there. And on the flip side, Ron, if the King win, uh, and they may be, and he, they, they still uh, could go second position, by the way, Ron, uh, about that one over there. Uh, uh, sorry to hear that, Danny, by the way. Uh, Carey Price uh, is what the Montreal Canadiens, he loved the team. He would go to him to matter. His game is very special, but no matter what, uh, God bless uh, Carey Price. So, yep, for sure, Car yeah. uh, Karin. Uh, for three, the wall, uh, Francois. I don't have the cap space to bring back Dauphin or any player below its side. But it, we don't need those kind of players, Renault. No. There's you know going mean? to be. It's not the... Dauphin, Perrault, uh, Pesada. Uh, you don't need those kind of players. Yeah. So, exactly. Uh, exactly. You got to move on. Said from Pesada that. is American colleague. Uh, Alan said you need Pesada. Uh, no, you don't need Pesada. Uh, no, he's a American Hockey League. He'll do all right to play for Laval. That's as far as he's going to go. Uh, will no, Logan Mayo be with Laval next year? No, uh, Alan. They go to keep him one more year in American Hockey uh, and the OHL. And then Makes after sense. that, um, it will be with Laval. He still have one more year to go. So he's only 19 next season. Right. So, right. Um, uh, uh, the abs uh, should have a uh, Romanov play, the power play, and the Weber spot and run the same system. Uh, Renault, first of all, Romanov is a left in, uh, left shoulder, so he plays yeah, on the opposite side, good. and Romanov don't have a great shot, slap no. shot. So um, no. that's what happened. He's about not going to fit that role, unfortunately. Uh, Eli the Wolf. Uh, wow. Eli the Wolf was a long time. Uh, a Hockey Nation Live Show um, uh, uh, subscriber. Welcome. Glad to see you, Mr. Eli. Uh, we miss you. Uh, yes, I agree with you, Ron. I just want to mention it's still possible. I don't say that they will do it, but uh, yeah. About that one over there for sure. About that. So I'm talking about 2004 draft. You have uh, uh, Phil Tilly, uh, Finn uh, Finn Tilly, honestly, his name is, it's easy. It's like a fan, Fan Tilly. Fan Tilly. Right. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, Adamo. Wow. I can't, I, I can't, I, Adamo Fan Tilly, but Adam is first name. Big guy, 6'3". Um, That's what you want. Yeah. That's what we and need. And again, he played on the GTHL. The GTHL guy uh, in Ontario is the best, no, is the best, is a number one league you travel and around mm -hmm. in the world, the GTHL in Ontario. And right. It's the best. You have nothing else like them over there. Um, so we had a good program. Yeah, exactly yeah. about we that one over there. Um, what's my word before I'm on the black, but in the mess time, this is like, uh, uh, would uh, render this for Petri singing leading make the search better? Uh, you cannot get both of them, Renault, uh, because of the salary cap uh, mm -hmm. about that. I will not touch Ren Ellis just coming back about an injury. No. Uh, no. So that was not helping a lot. Now, you trade Petri to someone else, and then you sing Le Tank. That would be already better. Now, that's not yeah. make the team better to go to the top, make the playoff, but that would be no. a good structure to teaching the young players around be good with as kids. a role model. That's the key yeah. behind that. Yeah, definitely. Uh, that I was just hope he, and we can afford them. How many, <laughs> how many first round pick do you think they will play right away most the year? Next season? Depends. That's going to depend. 
Um, because aren't they saying that right? Maybe the only three one? of them, Renault, and okay. in worst case, maybe five, but maybe only three of them. I don't see more than three for sure. So, but I, I was I was hearing that the only one. My that point was to you is like, it's depend like who get Arizona. Yeah, Montreal. If they get Shane right, I believe he'll be with Montreal. Yeah. Right. Uh, yeah. If Arizona get. Um, Nemec, or they get um, Cody's going to um, university. Uh, yeah. Kiki, I don't know, but not much. Yeah, three could be the right number, and then yeah. go from there. Uh, Renaud, uh, coach, uh, what do you think about Brown? Said he, see, he started repeating himself and Ellie what, what they've been doing to rebuild there. Uh, Coach, what do you think about Brown said he see history repeating itself and uh, what, what that have been doing the rebuild? Uh, you know, the King did a very good job to get a lot of prospects. And it, exactly nice what place. they did, they rebuilt completely. Without yeah. keep Kupida, Quick, yeah. Dottie. Yeah. Brown. They kept minimal. They kept minimal and guys. They kept Yamafalo and Cam, and then they pick up Byfield, now Zerkat, Kiliev, everything like that. So Brown exactly. see that repeat, right? Uh, yeah. So I agree with him about that one. Uh, it's just yeah. stayed a bit longer. Oh, I like the way they did it, actually. I mean, and, and then that's exactly what we have to do. Also, the Arizona credit session is very strange, but at the same time, I think they should move Quebec. They are playing in the new Arizona, which is only 26. Or 20. Yeah, the problem, Eli, they cannot move in Quebec. But um, I can understand your point of view. We wish they could do this, but they cannot. Yeah. And the Love building over it. there, Eli, is 5,000, obviously, but a good point about it. I don't, I don't think Batman would allow it to happen. Uh, first of all, what happened since last year is, uh, and this hurts, yeah. Uh, possibly to have a guy outside the first round make the club also? No. I know. Um, it's really rare a second, third round pick pick up the, you know, play in the national. Happen. Does happen, but not often. Uh, we know we forget him. Stavkowski made the game one. That's another one. I think they will make it. That's the one. I think if Montreal gets him, I think they'll put him in right away. Yep. Just to see if he works with Caulfield and Suzuki, and I think that line would be perfect. Uh, Blackhawks, if I was uh, take the D, the lead, the D, uh, I would go with Chicago because Philadelphia play back to back game. But I could be wrong. The San Jose Sharks take the lead 1 0. <laughs> I hope they win tonight. <laughs> now it's a Wendy and a team, uh, Danny. That would of be course, a shocker. No, but it was the uh, um, All right. Credit should play after the own game in Quebec, uh, Renault said. The TV contract is the problem. Uh, the mm -hmm. team is having a bad year, but it's by far the best team I ever played the game, as uh, I said. Uh, I was young, maybe eight or nine about that, so I don't know about this. Um, um, Salah, uh, about that. I know, and do a good take on circus chemistry with uh, Andrew said. Uh, um, good take on Sevkaski. I have um, on chemistry with Cole Caulfield. Yeah, I think I just think that's the insulation they need, the two of them. Yeah. Uh, I thought you could follow everything. It makes sense that he said that because a certain player can pick up who is playing today, who they represent, and Kim was making a play for the game. Yeah, I agree with you about this. I run yeah. after that. Um, mm hmm. Um, and then after that, um, uh, I think this is a Batman last year on his contract. At least he's got an extension. What's that? Is that five team move under him? Batman? Batman's not going anywhere. <laughs> if he wants to stay, he's staying. <laughs> yeah. And like the problem is not Batman. It's like they cannot move because the contract, TV contract they got in USC, LI. And one contract they got, they need to be on 
all his friends stayed in USC. That's the problem about that one over there. Yeah. Uh, Junior, uh, I don't know who you are, Junior. All right? I don't know. I think it's the first time you come here. And I'm going to give you this to you right now. Warning. All right? And you, you talk about hockey with respect. I will going to keep you. If not, we're going to remove you. So uh, this is your last chance right now. We have people behind that. And uh, we want just to mention this. We're not bad people here. We have good people talking about hockey. So uh, we, we don't respect. bully anybody here. Uh, yeah. If you're not happy, just go somewhere else. And uh, hopefully you're going to talk people with people who want to have you. So... That's your last time about that one over there. So that's it. Exactly. That's, yeah, nothing again, that part over there uh, for that. Um, I do have something else I want to check here. Um, still for two St. Louis, one zero over there. Uh, not many games, most of the game are out at that moment, uh, Mr. Um, we still have one missing. Uh, we missed one likes to get that. That's it, eh? <laughs> Come on, somebody. <laughs> one more. <laughs> yeah, one more. The problem is not that men coach. Uh, not really. Uh, lip. The problem is just because the TV, the TV, they cannot move anything because the TV contract lip. That's a problem. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a Weber guitar, a price miss a year. Those two players are likely better than anyone get a franchise I ever have. Uh, as a good player, but honestly, it is. It is. Uh, Peter August, uh, welcome aboard, Peter. Hopefully, welcome, you're doing Peter. well. Thanks for joining us tonight, Mr. Peter. Don't forget to click on the likes. Uh. Hey, folks, here's your like. Uh, do we get it? Uh, uh, Andy Kuivula just show up at the right nice. time because we did it right for on, another Andy. straight job, time. Andy. <laughs> Let's do it again! One of the likes for one more time for the Hockey Is Your Life Show! Reverse! Here we go! We did it again at the night of the I Gila cool. Fleur. So it's great to see that uh, about that one over there. Uh, twin uh, Cohen said, I'm a Bruins fan and I have to the respect for the Abbey organization. I'll look at the sick relative we have. I will love it. Uh, yeah. We cannot say anything better, Mr. Inata, uh, Mr. Andrew. Yeah. I agree totally. I think, you know what? Uh, that, I've always felt that way with Boston, too. The team I always look forward the most to see the Habs play because I have so much respect for that organization is Boston. By far. Uh, I agree with you, Eli, about that one over there. Bon, mais finalement, Luc, tu as dit une bonne chose. Euh, <laughs> Luc, tu as dit une chose vraiment, euh, euh, va vraiment valide présentement. Je <laughs> suis bien d'accord avec toi. Uh, OK, that's me. I would choose Philadelphia because every time I choose Ox, they don't win. Uh, and when I don't <laughs> choose them, they win. Here we go. Yeah, well, I know that too. Well. Shane Wright as a bottom cent six center or top six winger, does he have the high upset? Um, uh, Shane Wright, uh, right now, he's going to play like uh, whatever they need it, honestly. It's too early to yeah. know, but he would be a top six in NHL as oh, a yeah. center. Yeah, and you know, it's funny because I think he could immediately be on the second line at center for the Habs. Yeah. Uh, immediately, and then you give him a, a year or two, he'll take over the first line. But what's case you can put him third, right? And yeah, that'd be fine. You also could. about that one over there. Thank you, RJ, you'll... for the update. Uh, sad day today for the ad player, Ella Fleur Lover. I agree, I agree with you, Peter. We talked yeah. about this earlier. Thank you, uh, Blackhawk. Uh, do not forget that we have Josh Wark. He could surprise, he's a wild card. They could speed up, oh, yeah, be a complete bus. Uh, you know what? I've got my eye on Joshua Wa, and I don't uh, count him out. He could be a shocker. You know, he may be a better player than we think. Uh, Alexan, I always mention about this in my pre my post game. Always what Martin Saint Louis does. Uh, he's, Martin Saint Louis on a press conference. He always talk positive. You always see the good things about that. 
Um, I cannot yeah. be more agree with you about this, Alexander. Uh, I think he's doing he's with us now. Hurricane <laughs> Louis. That's Class funny. Act. Thank you so much for that. Uh, Danny, great job uh, all together. Uh, okay, guys, see you tomorrow. Alan, have an amazing, great uh, workout. And I will now. see you um, tomorrow. We're going to go to night just score. How yeah, about that one of it? And he said, you. Petri was apparently told that he need to help himself to get good sleep by playing better. He is responding. Yes. Yes. I think that's exactly what Great it is. Great comments right there. Want. Yeah, uh, perfect. Peter, you nail it. Yeah. Uh, this kid really impressed me watching him. No, wow, a firecrack, a firecracker. There's parts of his game, like I say, offensively, he does well. I just want to see his defensive game. He will learn with time, right? He's still young. Yeah. So, uh, but yeah. something you need to get better for sure about that one over there. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Uh, keep him in the middle for the year and what we will we'll, what we will want. Uh, I wish the Jet brought back the 91-96 jersey as an alternate. Uh, um, bonne nuit, uh, Nathalie en retard. Après moi, Nicolas est parti. Uh, for again, uh, Renault, Devorak, Jake Evan, and Joshua, what would be ahead of Shane Wright on the roster? No. I don't know about that. I don't think so. I can't see no. it. Personally, I see I see right seriously if he if we get him, I see him second line center. I right really away is better to Joshua Watt. Right away is better to Jake oh, Evans. Right? Yeah. Now Dave right far. because he had experience, everything like that, but he will slip between him and Zuski at some point. Um, oh yeah. You cannot put yeah. Joshua Rua at the same time. Sentence like no, right. they're not even at the same level. They're nowhere near the same level. All right, now um, it, it would be interesting. I just want have the potential to be a great hockey player. Mm -hmm. How he's going to develop, I don't know. Exactly, it's going to be a little more time before he gets there, in my opinion. Uh, Luc Lafortune said Benoit grew and Saint Louis out in two years. Uh, are you talking about the kids or are you talking about the, 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 the dad coach? Uh, Benu Goy uh, is in St. Louis out in two years. Are uh, you talking about the coach? About that one over there? Uh, I don't think so. Let, they will go with uh, Benoit Crew uh, Grew about that for oh, sure. Mm -hmm. uh, St. Louis is out in two years. Now, look, uh, if they sign him, it will be three years. After yep. that one over there. But again, like any coach you're going to bring, uh, they would be out at some point because the team is not looking good. If you qualify, if you want to develop a young players, yeah, nothing better as Martin Saint Louis. Yeah, I agree. He's he, a perfect he, he guy for right the can develop players. He's been there, he knows the game. Uh, Benoit Grou yep. never been in National Hockey League Hall of Famer, Luc Lafarsen. That's right. So the development would be better with Martin Saint Louis. Um, I'm quite pleased with Martin. I think he's been the, a great, a, fr a breath of fresh air himself. You know, uh, Peter August said Gallagher played a much better game, but he still I don't feel he fit the stem that Martin Saint Louis wants. Well, uh, the the one good thing I have heard is that he's made the comment out of his own mouth that he wants the summer to see how he comes back. He wants to see how he, he plays himself. He doesn't like the, he doesn't, he's not happy with the way he's played himself. So he said, give me the three months to have a normal summer. And then let's, let's see from there. Eli Wolf said, uh, who is your winner of the, what is your prediction of the Stanley Cup uh, final? Oh, me? I, I'm not going to budge on that one. I'm, I mean, again, Vegas, if they get in, that's a scary thought because that changes things. But if they don't, I still stick with uh, Tampa and Colorado. Uh, I go with Colorado, and then after that it would be uh, the Nashville just score. By the way, okay, wow, four four uh, Colorado, and then it would be between Tampa Bay Florida. Yeah, 
and I agree with you totally there. If if Tampa doesn't do it, it'll be Florida. Uh, who, who is a big goalie after a prize? Very curious. I have no idea. Primo, Nobody that. knows. <laughs> Nobody knows that one. So do you have a couple of different goaltender, uh, Twan, about that? Yeah, Primo, first of all. Yeah, Montembeau, both of them, right? After that, you have to go with the name Fichu and um, an European. You have a good goaltender. Right? He was born in Denmark. Uh, play right now, and um, I think Germany is not Germany. He play on the I cannot remember is the Swiss league or not or Sweden league. Then you have the uh, Cohens with the um, with the on Ohio State and the NCA uh, is under the one over there. That's really the the two over there. They have another goaltender on the on the OHL, but it's a bit long term about that one over there. Are any of them uh, a little higher than seventh round picks? Uh, well, the official and that he was, you know, four or five great group uh, for the NCA. But Golden Derby, the pick is not really important. It's how they develop at 24, 25, 26. Yeah, I just don't like If you're a star, I'm not happy with Primo. <laughs> uh, Rand Pullen, um, hold on. Rand Pullen get cut if right arrive. No, I don't think so. I think they're going to, I think he'll re, he, uh, it's going to be a toss up between him and Evans for the fourth line center. That's for sure. But I honestly think I would put Paling on the left wing. Uh, no, I think he's going to become a backup player. Like the unit, yeah. like the 13, 14 plus for them. Okay. At that moment. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, it would be like a little bit what Peru does or Pesada does, it's a job like that at that moment. Because the fourth center was going to be right, they were right, Zuzki and Jake Evans. Yeah, but I mean on the wing. I could I could see them moving him to the wing. Yeah, possible. Uh, I agree but, with Andrew on Shane yeah. Wright. I've been a second line center on the ad. I would person when I see yeah. him develop me not. I will rock the work as a line center about that one over there. Uh, it got as worry excellent like him. Uh, not good. 1-1 one, one in the guest game. So I agree. Then uh, Carolina has pretty much satisfied first in the Metro. Our four point right now. Uh, they play again uh, Wednesday. Uh, Tuesday. How long is... Is there any word on how long Anderson's out? Look like it could be longer what they expect. Wow. So. What a mess up that is. Oh. Uh, what I a want terrible. Poland giving another year, but Martin St. Louis is giving him no ice time. It's not fair. He covered the ice well, towel center with offense power play scale. Actually, he's given Paling lots of ice time in the last while. So I can't say that. He's just rotating people. That's all he's doing. He's getting different looks. They're giving them time. This is the time to see what they can do, see if there's any combinations that mix well. I agree with you about this. Uh, look, uh, Benoit Grou uh, with a temp uh, with a tempo with like names. Uh. Mm -hmm. A good call, Renault is a top four liner with a top nine potential. As new prospect come in, I bet he get moved out. Uh, Kelly Summer comments our first look at tempo B2 Cup and no excuse there. Um, yeah, I, I don't know Renault about that. What he said about this. My prediction is Avalanche Penguins twine. About that? Wow, wow, that's that. That would be something. I don't, I don't know see how they can do way. that. Uh, being honest with you, they don't have no goaltender anymore. No, no. Jari is out. So yeah, again, I still everything don't could happen, right? But uh, yeah, yeah. Like I have thirty-one point fantasy hockey. Um, if it's Panthers is Avalanche Cup final, then it's a rematch. Yes, exactly. Li nineteen ninety-six. Uh, that would what? be quite much. <laughs> have, have the next few drafts to find a goalie and write out the next four years to bottom feeding. Uh, you know, may, maybe in the mid rounds they might try it. I don't know. I don't know what their plan is. I mean, it's possible that they throw, you know, fourth or fifth round. It's always better to pick in a, next... a, a goaltender as a trait. Yeah. Or yeah. UFE. It's not often you get to draft them, that's for sure. 
Uh, we don't need help on the left winger. Uh, Pauline North Future and Montreal look sad. Uh, uh, one one good. Adam said. Pauline will become uh, like uh, Amir with a similar contraction. He is a first rounder. Uh, not this year, Renault. Um, about that one. It's like a manner situation. The player is so valuable that tossing him to the Sharks then could, it could be bad. Leave, keep Manor and the Manor until they knew he was ready. You know, he's a top player. Mm -hmm. um, Development is key. Mm, but Shane Wright, they do, they, they do say he's ready to come right into the NHL. Yeah, but um, I don't know, but he never played in an American Hockey League. Mm. Oh, I know. I know. That's why I say it's a big statement for these agents to say that they're ready for the pros immediately. That's a big statement because it doesn't always pan out. Because the first year he played with Toronto, he had 61 points and 77 games. Mm -hmm. Are you talking about Mariner? Okay. Mitch Manor. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. because he said, leave, keep Manor, and the Manor, no. That's a lie. I was just correct. Because when he said that, I was said, oh, I'm not sure me about that one. They, they, they bring um, uh, Matthews after that, all the way after that. Yeah. And that should, Kagori should be in a very interesting series. It, it, yeah, it will be interesting. For sure. Nashville well, can I respond mean, physically. They can play I, hard. They can play against yeah. anybody. And they if have shot me the is whole hot, they can beat anybody. Yeah, I agree with you because I didn't even expect them to be in the playoff picture at the beginning of the year. And so they've been a pleasant surprise. Uh, Luc Lafortune, uh, Shane Wright, is a, is, I don't know why you don't like him. Uh, how many times did you see him play? How many times did you see him at back checking? How many times did you see his two-way center? Now, if you think Steve, uh, Shane Wright is a Conor McDevitt, no, it's wrong. He's not. He's not. No. No. He's not. But is the guy can play 80 point to 90 point. Is a Nicole O'Shire, all right? He is a Jack Hughes kind of player. That would be good. Good player, use that. but not a, a super elite player. He's an elite right. player. Uh, look about that one yeah. over there. Uh, yeah. So uh, I don't know why you said he's not good, uh, but uh, and again, like everybody told, told he's a great, he's the best uh, a Canadian Hockey League junior player at that moment. Um, yeah, and they keep they keep saying he is the guy that is ahead of the rest for sure. Uh, what do you think the ceiling of no, of a no lender? Um, That's it. That's you it. have to wait. He, he came back with injuries after injuries, two concussions this year. He played yeah, really good wait. right now on the playoff with Edvinson, uh, uh, with uh, Fran Luda right now, but uh, we have to wait a little bit longer. I don't know yeah. yet, King, how he's going to carry on that game during the American Hockey League. I um, think that's the wild card. You know, out of our defenseman, I think he's the wild card that we, yes. we just don't know. I believe, know? do he is Jordan Harris or could he become Gaden Cooley offensive side and better defenseman? That's what yeah. I don't could know be. yet. Yeah, he could be. Have a good night, Nicola. Uh, Pulling have, have night, seven Nicola. minutes last game and almost never probably do it. Man, I hate him. But St. Louis. Because he hate it, him, Renault, it's because he's not a player what you think he is but you know the the thing is too is saint louis actually it's totally incorrect what you're saying renault because saint louis has been big on him bigger than i thought he's talked well he's just trying different people and giving them changing the ice time levels for different players he wants to see if the different things work but he actually seems to like them so hey he sees something. He just thinks he's a longer project. Yeah. Uh, the Yankees beat the Cleveland 10-2. And yeah, the Wild nice. Rangers <laughs> is um, a Dark Horse Cup Finals. 
Yeah. Yeah. I uh, we all ran out on shootout uh, on overtime in uh, Nashville. Wow. So this wow. is a bad news for Vegas because Nashville get a one point. Wow. <laughs> this is getting tough. Minimum, minimum. This, uh, yeah, we need a goal for sure. Like, uh, for soon, I agree with you at some point. Um, Matthew's wrist is definitely bother him. He does not look comfortable. There's a good. We don't know how bad it is, so there's a good chance. There's I agree with you about that. Yeah. Uh, absolutely, especially when the player is your most valuable asset. Uh, the Maple Leaf probably won't win the cup until he hit late uh, 80s. Uh, uh, I don't know if that's possible. We know uh, Matthew is the post twice tonight, no goal in five games now. He's hurt. He's hurt. Matthew make me sick. Uh, Black said it's 4-4. Four, four. Danny, it's low. Uh, we <laughs> are here a lot. Uh, it's... Um, Great and I see 18 years old. That's good. Cross being shown by the Sorry, when you see the confidence that it was going to be in the Garfield this season. The Blues 6 2 over Anaheim. Wow, well, yeah. Yeah, I kind of figured that. That's not a shocker right to me. Is Monahan a pre hip injury? Bring back the Nordic move the KD there. Jake said he's good, but not sure he's shot. Now he's good. I, I again. Yeah. He's going to be an elite player, not a spray elite. Yeah. A quality yeah. elite player for me is like Zuski can become. Yeah, exactly. Um, I just went over Sutter coaching career. Holy crap. Uh, whatever team he goes to make the playoff the following season with him. Uh, yeah, he's a great holy coach. Sutter's a phenomenal think. coach. Uh, yeah. Pressure start in the American for the first one game. Coach, he's a day skill again. Uh, Uh, does anyone know the season which came after the King on both end of the board? Not at that moment. No. Uh, Reevaluate tomorrow, Monday. Man. OT Nashville. Did they win Sutter it? Sutter is good at turning team around, but it's best before they expand in about five years. Uh, yeah, but it's normally average, like coach and Andy, normally. I'll leave you an exception. Will Norris play with Laval or the ad more often next year uh, with Laval uh, Renault? Who, Norlander? Jordan Harris. Oh, Jordan Harris. Uh, that's hard to say. To me, he's right on that borderline. It's, it's going to be a hard decision. It's going to be depending on how many of the veterans are keeping as well. I, so, I don't hard see to say. Him, I, see, uh, I see him in Laval. I see him in Laval, personally, for a season. But... You know, it's going to depend on a lot of things there. So much up in the air, really, with what we're doing. I'm not even sure what we're what we're facing, you know. Uh, absolutely. I agree. Look about that point, point, a big point for Nashville. Absolutely right, Peter, about that. Uh, uh, we carry for the cup. Uh, um, possible. We'll see. And that makes sense. Indeed, that's about what happening in late with him. Uh, Nashville control at uh, Nashville control the park. Sean right now run the uh, skate around. Uh, we have 350 drop the park right now to um when you have a OZ, the park go outside. Uh, Batman only follow the I mean dollar. Tempo as sense machine to our twin off later in the playoff, Peter said. About mm -hmm. Tampa Bay. Yeah, Tampa Bay is there, yeah, Tampa uh, they're just too strong. I guess say it's going to be way too much of a rough ride for Toronto physically. I, it's going to be too much on them. Oh, Fleury. Oh, Fleury may bash, partially make a save. The puck rolled behind him and the defenseman steal the puck. He passed to eat a party. I do agree that uh, the wall and the job of one is going to be fun. Uh, I'll call a guest watcher. Uh, Denny. But that's another team, the Oilers. The Oilers yeah. are another team. Watch out. I mean, they really are, have got something going there. I think that Evander Kane thing is, was a great move. I agree great with you move. about that one over there. Yeah, are you still there? Yeah. Okay. They've been flying high ever since. Yep. And then, you know, they put a couple of, you know, with, with Kulak, that's, that's, 
at least it's something on their defense to shore it up a little bit, you know. So, and Smith has been playing better. I'll give him that. 